Mic check, mic check. Mic check, one, two. Hello. I think, I think we're live. Bear with me while I just get my windows dragged over. On moment. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Pop out, pop out, pop out, pop out, pop out. Who is this guy? Hello. Aloha. Hey. Hello. Mr. Jaden was first. Actually, let's put it on live chat. There we go. Uh, yeah, Jaden was first. Welcome. Uh, Marcian. Android. Neil. Carl. Snowy. Chris. Darkstar. Waiting for Adele. Hello. <laughs> uh, stop scrolling to the bottom. Go away. Uh, let's in. Shadow Frost, Frank, news channel. Uh, my day's been alright, mate. Yeah, vacation was good, mate, thank you. Uh, J Boy, welcome. Uh, Mike, Frank, Michael. Uh, good to see you too, Frank. Thank you, mate. Uh, thank you, Mike Calpin. Holiday Blues. <laughs> Hope you bought me a stick of rock back. I don't even know what Sarah bought, to be honest. Don't even know what she bought. But welcome, one and all. Got the old My Mate Vince merch. I'm good, thanks, Chris. How are you, mate? Uh, Kez, Jamin, David. Bobby didn't say hi to you, but welcome, mate. Is there a separate, is there a separate Zoom call? <laughs> Travis, how's it going? David, uh, did I say hello, David? Welcome, anyway. Hello from Canada. Welcome, welcome. Old Raver, welcome, mate, on Twitch. How's it going? Alim Romeo, welcome. How's it going, Ryan? I'm good, thanks, mate. How are you? Who else have we got? What have we got? We've got 64 and 1. Ooh. One viewer on you on Twitch. <laughs> hey, Blindsider. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Scoot, I've been on holiday. Yes, I've been to Wales. Yeah. Safe, how's it going? Timmer? Timmer. First time watching live. Welcome, Phil. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 77, let's wait till we get to 100, and I just want to make a little uh, announcement. Uh, woo, another milestone. Thank you for being a channel member for 12 months, Brian. I appreciate that, buddy. Hello, server. Thank you, Chilo. I appreciate that, mate. Good to hear, Travis. Good to hear, mate. Good to hear. He's back fixing again. Yes, I'm going to be working on this MacBook. Thanks for the SD bypass fix. Got a few Xbox that it should fix. Yeah, no worries, mate. Uh, the schematics are now available, so we might start to see them. Uh, we might start start to see them in ESD IC surface. <laughs> the boss is now in behave. Yep. <laughs> what, what's, it, what's on today's agenda while I clean out a cockroach one? Ow. Is WD-40 contact cleaner just as good as IPA? I've never used it, mate. Uh, might be best to ask chat about that. Does anyone know in, ch in chat about that? Because I've never used it personally. Uh, right, well, we have 93 people. Beeps, Andrew. Hi. Guess what I've got? Now that we've got over 100 people, guess what I've got? Dun, 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 dun. Merch! <laughs> yeah. 
I had a t-shirt made. <laughs> hey, Voip. Thank you, dude. Let's wait for that to pop up. There we go. Thank you, dude. That's pretty cool. Um, I like to play poker myself, to be honest. Um, I haven't played for a little while, but I do like to play poker. I play a lot more live these days. I don't tend to play online anymore. Um, but... Yeah, when I do play, I usually play live. Thank you for the five, mate. I appreciate that. And uh, if you do, if you do start a channel, drop me a message and I'll I'll check it out. Definitely. That's cool. How much is it? I don't know yet. That's why I said you got the wrong cup. Well, then you better bring me another coffee. <laughs> you can flex like Dwayne Johnson. Yep. Uh, yeah, I don't know how much they're going to be at the minute. I'll let you know on the next stream. Um. So it's going to be, they're going to be going live pretty soon. Uh, so I had this specially designed and it got delivered today. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. So I don't know if anyone knows what the uh, the reference is to this t-shirt. Uh, there's a question. Does anyone know what the reference is to the t-shirt? I think you were giving him help in the past. Uh, who's that, mate? Peace off and clean up for your son's birthday tomorrow. <laughs> Equilibrium. Welcome, mate. Looking fresh. Oh, I feel a little bit fresh, yeah. Have you seen Power Rangers? Uh, I've watched Power Rangers. I used to watch Power Rangers when I was a kid. What oh, t-shirt? It is this one. Flex your muscles, not your motherboard. Or not your board. Does anyone know what the reference is? Come on. Oh, shit. What's happened to my Twitch chat? Dude. Dude. Pop friend guy, welcome to Twitch. Jar, welcome, mate. How's it going? How's your time away with the fam? It was good, mate. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Wushe, how's it going, mate? Kempi Kempi. Juki Nukem. Had a good break. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. You didn't come and see me then. <laughs> to be fair, I mean... Oh, it was hectic. Like, I, I genuinely, uh, genuinely didn't stop all week. It felt like, felt more like a fucking a rush than anything. Hey, crazy guy, man, Jason. Welcome, mate, Mister Jason Horvath or uh, Jason's Electronics Repair. Welcome, buddy. How's it going, mate? Uh, I'll just catch up on Twitch chat a second. Uh, how can you get? How can I get rid of that stupid restream bot? Um, I think you can block it, uh, so as you don't see their messages. Um, I do that so as it fills up Twitch chat because we don't get as many viewers on Twitch chat, so the chat's a, twats, the chat's a little bit dead normally. Uh, I subscribe to your Prime. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that, uh, young bloody J. Thank you, mate. Yeah, if you click on the name, it should let you block. I hope no one knows why. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I'm just catching catch up on Twitch, Twitch chat. Jesus, your desk is clean. Oh, my desk's a right mess. I haven't done nothing since I got back. Literally powered everything on this morning. I haven't tidied up nothing. Don't care. Just need to get some repairs done. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, let's have a look at YouTube chat now. Do you like Breaking Bad? I've never watched it, mate. To be honest, I've never watched it. I've, I've been meaning to, to be to be fair. No, you chose to go, mate. Flex board view. Uh, no, it's actually not. But that's a pretty good reference to snapping the layers. Pretty much, yeah. Well, sort of. So yeah, this shirt is. A 3DS motherboard. It's a Nintendo 3DS motherboard. Um, and uh, it refers to a issue 
a lab with another YouTuber where he was bending a motherboard. So yeah. <laughs> Anyone remember Lex on Channel 5 Late Night? No. Rage Quick PlayStation 5? No. <laughs> Steve B, how's it going, buddy? Uh, a tidy desk is a sign of a dirty mind. Indeed. I agree. I thought you were having a cleaner while you were waiting. Oh, no one's allowed in my workshop. Not even service allowed in my workshop. The break was good, mate. Thank you. Yeah, I should watch Breaking Bad. I should watch it. But anyway. You stream at the wrong time. I don't mind if you watch another time, mate. It's always going to be played back on YouTube. Um, if you want to watch your football. I don't mind. I appreciate you stopping by anyway, at least. Hey, Archie Golden. Archie Golden just resubscribed for two months. Hey, Phil, welcome back. Received a really bad medical diagnosis this week. Oh, mate. Leave your stream for comfort today, lol. Right, well, first of all, I'm glad to at least provide you some comfort. You're an absolute legend on this channel, genuinely. If you need to talk, mate, DM me on Discord. I'll send you my personal number. Genuinely. If you need to talk, mate, honestly, just, um, just send me a DM and I'll send you my phone number. I have changed my phone number and I'll only give it out to certain people now, but... You are an absolute legend on this stream, and if there's anything I can do to help, then just, just give me a call. So, um, yeah, just DM me on Discord, buddy, and I'm more than happy to at least try and provide you with some a friendly, a friendly face sort of thing. Uh, for anyone that don't know, Archie is one of the top contributors on the channel, um, and also... Um, a very regular viewer as well. I have met him in person. He had, he's a nice guy as well. Genuinely, Archie, I am sorry to hear that, mate. And I hope this, I hope I can at least um, make you happy for a little bit. But if you do need to talk, mate, you know where I am. Oh, is Travis in here, is he? We're going to ignore him. We're going to ignore him. We don't talk to Travis. Everyone ignore Travis. Uh, anyway, let's get my... So I'm eating the spiders is worse than Phil. <laughs> let's get my uh, ugly mush off the fa off the camera. Blue steel from that angle. <laughs> Does anyone remember this MacBook from a couple of weeks ago? Uh, from last week. Oh, Archie, honestly, mate, right, any time, any time you want to, any any time you want to talk, genuinely, I'm I'm here for you, mate. If there's anything I can do to uh, to at least provide you with a little bit of happiness or comfort, then I'm more than happy to. So now YouTube is like real life, excellent. <laughs> oh shit, I shouldn't have read that message. It was off Travis. Uh, anyway, this is. The MacBook that was not displaying. This is the MacBook that wasn't displaying. So it's the. Let Mac me just. Contains a Shut up. If you know how to use VoiceOver? Press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the Escape key. Shut up, Mac. Is it twenty one fifty nine or twenty one seventy nine? Can't remember. Uh, let me just check. Uh, purchase. Oh, fuck off. I think it's a twenty. I think it's a twenty twenty one. <laughs> Shut up, MacBook. <laughs> I think it's a twenty one seventy nine. Um, let me just. Uh, let me just go through my purchases just so I can. Yeah, twenty one seventy nine. So I ordered a screen on the last live stream. Stop swearing. Fuck you. <laughs> I ordered a screen on the last stream, and that arrived while I was away. This is the last one before the M1 chip. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. So I ordered a screen before I went away, and that has arrived. So I believe. 
so let me just show you what's happening with this actually. I do want to be careful on this screen. I'm going to put some gloves on. Um, Point the two Xboxes I have on Craigslist so I can pay the internet bill. <laughs> So this is the one that's not displaying anything on the screen, but I turned all of the lights off right at the very end of the last live stream, and I could see the backlight. So this is the one that doesn't have the transparent Apple logo. It's got the metal Apple logo. So you can't see the backlight through the back of the housing, but it's the one that's not displaying anything on the screen. That's turned on right now, and it's not actually showing anything. So I believe it's an LCD issue. Obviously, it could still have other issues, but I did inspect the board and I couldn't see anything. I thought you ordered a battery. Oh, you ordered a screen for this one, mate. So I'm going to put some gloves on. Because I'm going to be working with an LCD. You told me to, you all told me to get gloves, so I got gloves. You all told me to get some some nitrile gloves, so I bought two hundred of them. <laughs> Doctor Phil is ready for your checkup. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> you look like you're about to wash up. <laughs> um, yeah. So to the to the question about the um, to the question about hooking up to a HDMI. Uh, apparently, it does display on a HDMI, but I don't have a USB C capable HDMI. And I cannot for the life of me find my converter. So apparently it does work on um, an external display. But yeah. I am going to... Try it with the screen first before I attempt to do anything. So yeah, you got to love the gloves. Evening, Yoshi. You've got to love the gloves. I mean, they're pretty awesome. They are pretty awesome. I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and gay. I don't think I can do this without taking the screen off because it's got to go upside down. Anyway, so let's figure out what torques that's going to be. I believe it's probably going to be a T8. Got any PS5s tonight? Oh, don't talk to me about PS5s. I'm not a happy bunny. I'm not a happy bunny at all. I've had a, I've had a PS5 go missing that I bought on eBay. I bought a PS5 on eBay. And DPD, I left a note on my window while I was away that said deliver to um, next door. I had 14 packages delivered next door while I was away. 14. The one package which apparently got delivered to a uh, doddle drop point, which is basically, um, it's like Amazon's bunny lockers and whatever. Uh, or Amazon's lockers. Uh, it's just a DPD drop point. It was supposed to have been delivered to Morrison's. I've been there today to collect it. And it's missing. And it's a PS5. They've gone down. Yep. I used to work for them, mate. They've never been never been very good. I've got two fat, two fat PS3s with red light of death. You can have them. Uh, oh, cool. Thank you. Um, if you. If you want to drop me an email to phildanks at outlook.com or drop me a message on Discord... Um, I'll get back to you, mate. 
Or just book him in as a repair and you'll get my address. <laughs> DPD Nick T. Probably. Right, so I have never taken one of these screens off before. I hope it turns up. Well, I'm covered on eBay, either way. I'm covered on eBay, but the seller's going to lose £233 because that's what I paid for it. And if he doesn't show up, then I've got to make a claim on eBay. I can't just... If it was something like £10 or something, I'd probably just write it off, but I can't write that off. It wouldn't be... It wouldn't be a good thing to do. Right, so I've got to figure out how I'm meant to get this out. So I'm assuming these screws here have got to come out. Uh, let's have a look at the screen itself. Okay, so it looks like we've got a screw here, a screw here, a screw here and a screw here, minimum. All right. Oh, no, that's not a screw. It's like a... A guide thing, so it's going to be that screw there. And that screw there. Is that all it is? Is it that simple? I think it might be. Makes you wonder how they know it's a PS5. Probably from the description. Probably from the description that the seller's put in. But I can't say for sure that DPD have nicked it. Not until I know for sure. Um, but for anyone that don't know, by the way, DPD is just a delivery company in the UK. Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. Hang it over the edge of the desk. Like have you ever repaired a dash cam? I haven't, mate, right now. Never worked on one, would I? Uh, uh, yeah, but you guys can't see it then. I'm assuming this is going to need to come off. I, yeah, I assume this needs to come off. Like this, these, um, these four screws here. It looks like it's being held in with these, whatever this is. So I'm going to get shot of that as my next step. Yeah, they're definitely, uh, they're definitely frame screws for sure. With how long those screws are, they're definitely going to be frame screws. So. What is that? The grill? For the air vent? Wi-Fi antenna. Um, don't know if it is. Because I don't think the Wi-Fi antenna... Does the Wi-Fi antenna connect to this? I don't think it does on these models. I know it does on like, the older models, but I don't think it does on these. Oh, actually, oh yeah, you mean it's, it's the Wi-Fi antenna. Oh, okay, now I think I get you. So I thought you said I had to disconnect the Wi-Fi antenna. I so I don't think I do. There we go, there's that side. I don't want to yank on the Wi-Fi antenna because I don't want to break it. I don't know how much stick that can take. What's with the gloves? 
Nothing wrong with the roofs. I quite like them. People told me to get gloves, so I got gloves. <laughs> I should have probably turned this off before I uh, started dis disassembling the screen. That one don't want to come out. Oh, there we go. That, that's a little bit easier. Does it slide out? Yep, it does indeed. It slides out. There we go. Okay, so there's the old screen. I do believe that screen is faulty. Um, and it was liquid damaged as well, so didn't turn it off. Yeah, but the screen wasn't connected, mate. Um, I realised that the screen wasn't connected. That's upside down. <laughs> So the screen kept coming out. I will disconnect it in a minute though. There we go. Okay, so to do this then, this side nearest the fan slides. So you lift that one out and that one slides to the right. That's how they... You'll learn the location of important keys on your keyboard and important voiceover command. Are assembled. To advance through the quick start. Shut up, you prick. Right. Let's put the hinge screws in first. Where's my, uh, God damn it. I'm a fucking moron. I'm an absolute moron. It might help if I actually put the flex ribbon through. See, this is why I don't do screens. I just hate them. I'll get used to them eventually. That's why you don't work on customer stuff if you're not used to it. Good thing I'm here for once. <laughs> Right, let's start securing it all in. I don't want to fully assemble it if I can help it because I want to test it.
So I'll parcel the assembly, just enough for an initial test. I have disconnected the battery now, by the way. You pushed a bit hard on that screen. I did, I did, I did think that myself, but that's, uh, like I said, that's why I don't work on um, stuff that I'm not used to for customers because, well, I'm not used to them, so. I would much rather work on something that belongs to me, like this for example, and risk damaging my own stuff, rather than a customer's. So I'm not going to fully secure this down, I just want to test it. There we go. So that battery was disconnected by the way. All right, give it a whirl. Please show me an Apple logo. I might have to plug it into USB-C. I think you have to plug these into USB-C, don't you, after you take the battery out. All right, well, we have power. We have 20 volts. Come on, Apple logo. It does not have an Apple logo. Wait, have I... Is that just a mark? Yeah, it's just a mark on the screen. It does not have an Apple logo. <coughs> That's not good. Screen dead. No, the screen's been sold as working. Screen with solders working, so it should be working. Not a resolution issue, I don't think so. Mac OS contains a built in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the escape key. Apparently it does display on a USB-C to HDMI. I'm just hoping I didn't damage that display. I don't think I did. There's a few marks on it. But I don't think I damaged it. I didn't hear any cracks. Well, it's got a smudge mark on it where I smudged it, but other than that, it doesn't look like a damaged display at all. So this is a display issue. Yeah, they're good, thank you, Jess. And we did have a, a, good, a good holiday, thank you. Uh, let me just make sure... ...that the display ribbon's not come out on the other side. Obviously nothing screwed in. Uh, yeah, it's kind of odd, to be honest.
Hmm. So that, it, <clears throat> that is disconnected. I don't know if that happened when I took the board out. I think I need to investigate a board issue, but I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start on the board, to be honest. Hang on a sec. Nice love. Thank you, mate. I have just noticed a little bit of corrosion. Or I think it's corrosion. What's that on this connector? And more to the point, what is this connector? How long have you been fixing gadgets? Uh, about four years, mate. Three or four years. What is that? It's not. What the? There is a glue on that connector. Sure, it's glue. <laughs> I hope it's glue. Uh, oh, no, need to connect these up. Greetings, LV. Hello. Hey, fixing things. things just resubscribed for five months. He got forty eight pad puller. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Oh, 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 Apple logo, Apple logo, Apple logo, Apple logo. Although it's a little bit dim. Oh, there we go. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha. When you're washing up the dishes, Sarah said that. <laughs> Boom! Apple logo, baby! Winner! Winner! Mac OS 
Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I suppose I better connect the Wi-Fi antennas. Uh, all right. Well. Let's just connect them up. There's that one. And there's that one. So that glue's got to stop the screen working. I don't think so. That's not the backlight, is it? Let me check. Nah, that's not the backlight ribbon. There we go. Try the old screen again. No, that's not the backlight ribbon, mate. Uh, set up later. Yes, I agree that I do not own the device. Don't want to enter a password. No password. No password. I don't think I can use numbers for the home folder. I left a phone screen and keyboard once when I tried to, when I went to join it off after some spray going into it. Yeah. I've had that before a few times, mate. There we go. Don't want to. I don't want to use uh, Touch ID. No. Don't want to use Touch ID. Peace off. Not interested in touch ID. Boom. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Your computer was restarted because of a problem. What was the problem? Show details. Not a clue. Right, does anyone know if there's any specific tests I need to do on this? To make sure it's working? All screen was probably dead. I think it was, yeah. So we have... Mac OS Cuntalina. MacBook Air Retina 13 inch 2020, 1.1 GHz, dual core Intel Core i3, 8 gigabits of RAM, Intel Iris Plus graphics. Let's see if there's a software update. You could use keyboard checker to check the keyboard. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think the keyboard's working. Uh, it seems to be, but 
I am keeping this, by the way. I'm going to be using this as my daily driver. Uh, see if I can get used to it. If I can't, I'll sell it. How's it going, Mike? Luke? Turn light off to test True Tone. Uh, I could do. Uh, Use one every day and love it. They are good machines. The hardware is good when it works. Um, so what does True Tone do? Does it does it brighten your screen automatically or what? Uh, why is screen brightness what, what not working? Oh, it is. Never mind. So you don't press FN for it, okay. All right, well, <clears throat> dims and brightens automatically. Meh. <laughs> I'll give you a quiz that we're looking forward to after dropping 15k in a car. Oh, I know that feeling, mate. That's how much I'm paying for mine. Did you pay for yours in cash or did you, did you get it on finance? Update to Big Sur. I'll run an update once I've put it all back together and whatnot. I've got to get it all fully reassembled and stuff, so yeah, I'm happy with that. The screen's in good condition. A couple of scratch, a couple of light scratches on the screen, but it was a great a B grade screen. Um, look, it wasn't a brand new screen. Actually, let's just test the battery. What's with the pink gloves? Why not? People told me I had to buy gloves, so I bought gloves. <laughs> Says the battery's full. Yes, I want to see the percentage. Yeah, so it says my battery's full. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. What year is this? 2020, mate. 2020. Um, right, okay, let's... Let's get everything put back together, if I can. Or at least somewhat, because I don't have a clue how to put these back together. Not the foggiest. Give you two hundred pound for it. <laughs> How much are these even worth? Oh, is it a twenty one seventy nine? I don't even know what they're worth. I paid so I've paid a hundred and um, where's the screen thing? Hundred and fifteen pound for the screen. And what did I pay for the actual laptop? 210 so it owes me 325 pound and 21 pence now 325 pound and 20 pence um, let's see what they're selling for uh, so I want to go to a select Sold listings. Give me sold listings. There we go. Sold items. Anonymous tip four dollars and twenty cents. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Uh, to the anonymous donation. Thank you. I'll get some more pink gloves. They're actually pretty cheap. They're like sixteen quid for two hundred. Uh, right. I want to find the laptops. Uh, Laptops and netbooks. Uh, £450. Not bad. Not bad at all. F between £400 and £500 by the look of it. With a charger. Since you're a novice on Mac. 
<laughs> yeah, what SSD is this even? Because I don't even know. Um... <clears throat> it is 256 with 8 gig RAM. Cool. You get lube included with the gloves. <laughs> oh dear. Tomorrow the request for Apple repairs will come. Probably. £700. Uh, that's brand new price though, isn't it? This is refurb. Just YouTube shows up on here. Uh, just YouTube shows up here. Yeah. How's it going on, gamer? Welcome, mate. Yeah, If anyone on Twitch, if you want to block the, re the restream bot, where did you get your pink gloves from? I can send you a link on eBay. Uh, I bought mine off eBay. Let me find them. I think they're pretty cool. I like them. Uh, they was £15.20 for 200 Fifteen twenty. Are you fixing something else after this? Yeah, I'm fixing something else after this, yeah. There you go. Posted a link. Pink to make the boys wink, indeed. I like them. I think they're cool. Yeah, £15.20 for a box of uh, 200 It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Alright, let's see if I can figure out how to reassemble this. So these black screws go... ...into here. Damn it. There goes the screen while the battery was on. Whoops. Let's hope I didn't just blow the backlight fuse. Nah, it'll be fine. They're usually fine just being disconnected. Alright, lung chassis screws. Heard that click. Heard that click. Cody's loving the stream. Oh, cool. How's it going, Cody? My little dude's five tomorrow. I'll have to go out to Smith's this afternoon and buy all his presents because I forgot. <laughs> it's really bad. Because we went on holiday, I just genuinely forgot to go out and buy his presents. So I took him with him. No limit. Well, there was some limit. I set a £200 limit. And he spent £177 on his birthday, which is pretty cool. Uh, I just let him pick what he wanted. It's quite nice. Nice to see him enjoying himself and um, being in his element with these uh, fire trucks and whatnot. Just bought three three boxes off eBay. Nice. I should get a fucking commission off these sellers. <laughs> right. I need to secure in the LCD connector from on the motherboard side. Sarah likes the pink gloves as well. Sarah nicked some off me. So, by the way, I left this on charge while I was getting ready to stream. So, it is definitely charging. And it was drawing like half an amp for a couple of minutes. Um, and then it ended up drawing like uh, 100 milliamps as it started to get full. So, yeah, I'm, I'm more than happy that it is charging properly. Uh, I've got to figure out what the hell screws go where. I don't think there's many screws to these though. To be honest. Hmm. 
Is this even the right screwdriver? I think it is. It's today's sponsors of the pink gloves. <laughs> That's a better fit, the T4. Right, so that's secured in. line that up and then find the screws That's not the right screw. Wait, is it these silver ones? No. I figure out what friggin' screws they am now. I don't think it's them ones. Dr. Phil, <laughs> to, protect, to protect my hands from IPA. Uh, no, there was actually, I actually just wore them because I was working with a screen. Um, I didn't want to, I kind of didn't want to risk smudging the screen to death, sort of thing. I need to figure out what screws and where. I might just figure that out another time, to be honest. Um, just given the fact that. Obviously, stream times are limited, and I want to get I want to get as much work done as I can. And screws are boring. God damn it. And now, this connector don't want to go back in. I think this, I think this charge port might be in need of replacement. To be honest, it's not, it's not straight. But I don't have any, so that would be a job for another day so the amount of times I've plugged and unplugged it I think uh, I might have slightly damaged it
because now it don't want to go back in unless it's because the board's in the wrong position Yeah, it's not clipping in. Oh, there we go. I got it. I got it. Right. Well, like I said, I'm keeping this myself. No intentions to sell. So, I don't care. If it's in, it's a win. So, as long as it charges the laptop, couldn't give a shit. I will buy one though, just uh, just in case I do ever need to take it back apart again in the future. But yeah, the rest of the screws I think I'm just going to figure out another time. Once I've secured in these other ones. So I just want to secure the connectors in so as it doesn't bounce around. And then tomorrow morning I shall figure it all out where all the screws have got to go. It can't be that difficult, but I'll probably read uh, I Fix It Tear Down Guide. <clears throat> right, which one is it for this stupid thing? Is it that one? Yep, believe so. Do 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 
I hate MacBook screws, screws, screws. I don't know which one goes in there. Oh, do de do da. Right, I will get to talk to you guys in a minute. Just as soon as I found another screw. I'm missing one. Lovely. Well, that I'll have to do for now. I'll have to find some more screws another time. Oh well. <clears throat> so I put Windows 98 on a new computer for laughs. Probably be a nightmare though. Um, I think we, I don't think it runs too well on uh, newer computers to be honest. Would be funny to see though. It'd be cool to see if it actually does work. I watched a video from Linus Tech Tips earlier about his second part of his tour of the Intel factory. It's pretty cool. Right, ribbons are all in. And in quotes, everything's in, everything's connected enough for it to work. And everything's secured down, apart from the main board. I don't know what screws go in the main board. That's the only problem. I believe it's these black ones, actually. No, it's not them ones. So, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to leave the rest of them. I'll forget about the rest of them. Thank you, Rob. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you, mate. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to leave the rest of them. And uh, as long as it's working, then I'm going to call it quits on this one for tonight. And call the job good. So, obviously, the only thing that seemed to be wrong with this was... The LCD. I think I've got to prompt it to boot before I can turn it on because I've disconnected it again. Space Raiders, how's it going? Hi. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> you put it in that cup. <laughs> Sarah just brought me a cup of coffee up. Okay. I'm coming down there anyway to grab another job. Right, well, that's booting now. It's fairly quick. No... No password. Right, well, True Tone just kicked in. It did just light up the screen. So that seems to be working. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. It lives indeed. Uh, so I'm going to set it to update. I'm going to leave that running. Um, yeah, I have no intentions of jailbreaking this or anything like that. There's no Apple ID on there. Um... So I'll sign into my own Apple account, put find my put, find my uh, device on and stuff like that. 
Um, but yeah, I'll leave that running. That won't serve you for, well for a few years. It will, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully so. But yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the purchase. And um, I might actually sell this LCD on eBay as full tech. Because uh, I can't repair it, but there are people out there who do repair them and people who do look for genuine Apple display panels or display assemblies so they can repair them. According to quite a few people, this has probably got an issue with the TCOM board. So someone might buy it, I don't know. Uh, you never know. I might get a tenner for it. I don't know, I'll just put it on eBay auctions, see what it goes for. Um... Time for a Frankie. It was a Frankie. But yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm going to let Sarah have a play with it, give it a test for me. Um, and not the thing that you're thinking of. <laughs> anyway, talking of uh, coffees and shit. If the lid's not scratched, I will definitely. I don't know what the lid condition is actually. Let's have a look. Um, uh, it's a bit scratched. It's a little bit scratched, a few scratches on it. Send it to Tronic, Tronic's fix or my mate Vince. I could use it for practice. Um, I could use it to practice uh, removing just the display, uh, removing the uh, assembly and removing the actual display. Hey, Big Daddy. Big Daddy 5854 just subscribed on Twitch. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Check this out. Uh, look at my ugly mug for a sec. Code merch coming soon. Code merch coming soon. And the T-shirt. Why did that just restart? Was that for an update? This for you. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Outdated merch and old pink gloves. Ah, that'd be very true. Looks like a very nice mug. Yeah, I only got the uh, samples this morning. But why did this just reboot? Was that for an update? Why did it reboot? How's it going, Chris? May do a few more times. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on it. Um, yeah, I'll keep an eye on it. See what happens. Um, I'm gonna let Sarah. I'm gonna let Sarah play with it. It's normal, Phil. Okay. What? I can't hear. You. Oh come on, play with it on stream. I'm on about the Mac up your dirty minded so and so. <laughs> <laughs> Need help with an Xbox One S. Uh, what's up with it, mate? I'll sort of try and help you. Only fans. <laughs> oh, dear. Love it. Beep on and off. That could be... Uh... That could be pretty much anything, to be honest with you, buddy. Um, what have you tried so far? Probably updates for the screen drivers. Uh, possibly, it could be, yeah. How was your trip? It was good, thanks, mate. 
The pink gloves remind me of Freddie Mercury on you know, Want to Break Free. <laughs> No, people kept telling me, they kept saying, uh, buy some gloves, buy some gloves, buy some gloves. So, in the end, I was like, you know what, stuff it. Pink gloves, streams for the, uh, memes, on, memes on streams. I was like, stuff it, I'll just buy some pink ones. Where's Danny boy? Not servicing, yeah. He's probably servicing the white animals, yeah. The white fluffy animals. Friend's laptop being hacked, he can't log on. Oh. Good luck with that, mate. Good thing she has good eyesight. <laughs> hey, it seems to be running okay. It's nice and smooth. Um, I might make some some tracks on here as well on this. I might download some software. I'll see how we see how it goes. When you need Xbox beak on beak up, beep off, I check cable inside. Uh, what cable was that, mate? See the problem with the problem with the beep on beep off issue on an Xbox is it can literally be anything. It's not really something that can be diagnosed on a live stream because I'd be here all night trying to tell you things to check. The best thing to do is go over to Discord, and um, if you go over to Discord, then someone might. Uh, either myself or someone else might be able to help you and try and walk you through some diagnostics. What's next? Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to go and get an actual repair job. Uh, I'll find something. Bonjour, Michael. And if the stream hits 300 likes tonight, then I'll work on another MacBook tonight. If the stream gets 300 likes tonight, then I'll work on another MacBook tonight. So, it's in your hands, people. Where have I put my light at? Update, eat battery life. Yeah, not surprised, to be honest, mate. Can I send it to you? Yeah, you can send it to me, mate. If you want to go to consolefix.co.uk, you can book it in. I'm happy to take a look for you. No, it's on my chair. I've liked. Thank you, dude. I have got a PS5 and a Series X, but I do have a big, big issue with the Series X. Um, thank you, Snowy. The Series X says that it's tripping electrics. It's going to be very difficult for me to fix on a live stream. Yeah, I've seen Stezzy's uh, last video, yeah. Right, my microphone's upside down, so I'm sorry if the audio's been shit. Hey, Illido. Long time, mate. Need to add some consoles in the mix for variety. Yep. Well, this one's a win anyway. I'm happy with this. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. I mean, not happy that I had to buy a screen, but you know, you know, it happens. How's it going, Andrew? He fixed the mic. I saw it, mate. Yeah, it was pretty cool, especially the wrap as well. We did a little bit of a cross um, cross collab while I was on holiday. I messaged him and just said, oh, I need uh, voice over Steve for something. <laughs> Fix a MacBook Pro that doesn't see the solder on SSD yet. I haven't, mate, no. One less in a scrap heap. Yep. I've got a 2020 Mac another 2020 MacBook. How do I send it to you when booked in? Um, my address will come up on the booking form that it gives you to download, mate. Mm. 
Nicole, how's it going? I'm thinking of selling my PS5 if it's just sat in the box. Yeah, I'll sell it now, mate, because I'm going to start devaluing as they become available. Which model is that? This is the A2179. Um, MacBook Air uh, Retina. So, yeah, that's just downloading updates. So, I'm going to go and grab a another uh, another job. I'm going to give this server to have a little play around with. I'll be back. Hello, hello. Okay, so bear with me a second. Let me just get my mic back on first. Right, so this might be a bit of a tricky one. First and foremost, it's got a sticker on here with a phone number. So I need to get that off. Because for some reason, someone's wrote a phone number on here. And it looks like it's a customer's phone number. So I've got to be really careful what I'm showing. Why anyone would ever put a sticker on a console like this, I do not know. There we go. So, got a phone number off. So now I can actually turn it around. Let me clean this up because it's now got sticker residue all over it, which I hate to see. But as you can see, this is a Xbox Series X. And apparently, it trips the electric. So I don't really know how to handle this. 
in terms of diagnosis. I'll show you the ticket. But it looks like it's also been drop damaged as well. There's a big dent in the corner just there. Well, can you see that? We've definitely got a dent, so this has definitely been dropped. So I don't know how I'm going to handle this in terms of diagnostics, because the problem is, if it trips my electrics, I'm literally stuck up here in complete darkness in a loft. There is absolutely no light source whatsoever. So I will be pretty screwed. So if I cover the customer's information, it does say on there, trips electric. So I don't think I'm gonna to attempt to diagnose this by pairing it on. I think I need to approach this one a little bit differently to normal. So what I think I need to do, first of all, like I said, I'm not gonna to attempt to pair it on because if it trips my electrics, then number one, the stream is going to die. So for anyone that's watching this as a video, this is being live streamed. I live stream every Monday and Friday. Shameless chill. Hashtag in front of it. Something like that. Anyway, but yeah. Number one is it will kill the stream. And it will take me at least 10 minutes to fire everything back up. So I'm, I don't want to trip my electrics. So what I think I'm going to do is number one, I'm gonna find my frigging multimeter because I can't find it for the life of me. It's right in front of me, never mind. Okay, panic over. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, I don't have an, I do have an RCD plug, but I don't know where it is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna test for a short to ground on the AC cable. Uh, no, we do not have a short to ground on that, but, I'm still not going to pair it on because that would be incredibly stupid of me. So, I think what I'm going to do is disassemble it and just take out the power supply. I think that's probably my best option because if I try a new power supply and, it's, and it does trip the electric, then so be it. But... I do obviously need to diagnose it. That's the problem. I need to diagnose it. So, I think I just need to try a different power supply. It has been, I'm assuming, been tested by uh, Console Repair London. That wasn't the person who wrote the phone number on it. He puts a ticket on his with just a little bit of sellotape, as you've just seen. So, it would have been to another shop prior to this. Um... So I think my best option is just to try a new power supply. And just see if it trips the electrics and hope it doesn't. Just hope for the best. So now I've got to find the right screwdriver. Test supply out of the unit and in a better area for trips. Uh, well, that's the problem. I can't. I can test the. See, there's a the, the way the the way electrics work in the UK or the way that my house is wired. I have something called uh, RCD protection on my consumer unit, and I don't know exactly how it works because I'm not an electrician. But if it detects a fault. Uh, the RCD will trip and the RCD controls a lot of different things. It controls, for example, lighting upstairs and sockets downstairs. And then there's another RCD which will control uh, lighting downstairs and sockets upstairs. But the problem is my lighting in this room is all on the same circuit. It's all on, it's all on a socket circuit because they're studio lights. So obviously I've got no upper lighting at all. So... If the RCD trips and it cuts out the electric, then it's going to cut everything off. It's going to cut the internet off. Well, it, 
I can't remember what. Uh, I can't remember what um, what RCD this is on. I can't remember if it's on the downstairs socket or the upstairs sockets, um, or rather the same block of circuits. Um, so I can't exactly remember what it's on, but what I do know is that it is RC. I do have RCD protection in the workshop because of the way that I've wired the electrics in the workshop. I think it's like a GFI, yeah, I think it's similar. Um, a ground fault interruption is that, I think it is. Um, yeah, I think if it detects um, leakage, uh, if it detects current flowing through a path that it shouldn't, then it trips, I think. I think that's how it works. Don't quote me on that. I'm not an electrician. If you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna know anything about UK electrician, uh, UK electrics, check out either Big Clive or Thomas Nardi on YouTube. Either of those guys. Oh, bit of, bit of dust money there. Run the Xbox off a of UPS. Um, that is possible, but I don't have a UPS at the minute. I need to order some new batteries for mine. Um, so I think the best thing to do, it's 99% of the time it's going to be a power supply fault. Uh, I have come across it before. And 99% of the time it's going to be a power supply fault. So if I swap the power supply and it works, tomorrow when I'm not streaming I can test the power supply. Because at least then it won't kill any stream. Consumer unit should have its own. Uh, your workshop should have its own consumer unit. Uh, no, not really. Not with the way. I mean, I'm in a house. Um, it used to have its own consumer unit, but I'm in a house and I wired it up temporarily, and it's all passed, so it's safe. I'll, I'll see what you're saying, but it's it's safe. Yes, I'm an amateur, Wayne. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? I hope, you, I hope you're good, mate. Still didn't get a phone call off you, though. Asshole. I have got a UPS. I've got a big fucking UPS down by the side of me, but I need batteries for it. I need to buy some batteries. As long as I don't overload my circuit, which I'm not, then it's safe enough. It's wired into my house electrics because I'll put it up temporarily. If it was a permanent workshop, then I would have put a consumer unit in. I would have got one of them garage units. Number of likes is my door number, 133. <laughs> well, we need another 166 likes if anyone wants to see me work on another MacBook tonight. A variable power supply. Well, I could test it on my bench power supply. I could give it 12 volts, but I'd need to set it up with two power supplies. That is possible. Uh, but even then, it's um, even then I'd still need to test the power supply to confirm whether the power supply is faulty for video confirmation at least. But it's been sent to me saying that it trips the electrics. So if I treat with a new power supply and it doesn't trip the electrics, then we should be good. Crank it. <laughs> But yeah, this isn't a permanent workshop, so that's why it's not on its own consumer unit. I used to have it on its own consumer unit.
how big is your garden? Uh, I don't actually know, mate, to be honest. But we're planning on moving, so I'm not I'm not building a new workshop till I move, because we are planning on moving. Um, I can't really afford to spend, you know, something like fifteen hundred, two thousand pounds on a new workshop just to have to tear it down when I move. I do still have my old workshop, but it's too cold in the winter. Alright, well I've got to completely disassemble this to be able to get to the power supply, but I do have known working power supplies. We did, thank you John. I like your gloves. Cheers, mate. Hey, Danny Danny's here. UK got too cold. Um, working in minus 30. Damn. Yeah, but we're not used to that kind of temperature in the UK. Sounds like you're begging again. Me? No. I'm just saying I'm not spending £1,500 on a workshop that I'm not going to be in for long because I'm moving. I'd be stupid to. I'd be a fool to waste money like that when I could spend that on actually moving. Think about it. Uh, I would recommend the iFix, iFixit kit, yes. Uh, that's, they're the ones I use myself. Oh, Danny boy. I am stupid. They're not nice. Don't make me ban you. Biatch. Sugar tits. <laughs> hey, Wayne, do you like my gloves? Xbox look very complicated to take apart. They're not that bad, mate, to be honest. Once you get used to the screw locations, there's not even that many screws in them as well. Um, but you get used to them pretty quick. It didn't take me long to get used to these. Sexy as good. I'm going to send you some. If I send you some, would you wear them on stream? Really suits you. <laughs> well, people kept telling me to buy gloves. So I listened. <laughs> Just didn't listen to the colour. <laughs> oh, no worries, Chris. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you. Prefer a black one. Nah, you wear these if I send these to you. If I send these to you and you don't wear them on a video or a stream, I'm going to get everyone to unsubscribe. Come on, you bastard. Phil has the power. <laughs> Go for your life. <laughs> Right, well there is the power supply. So I'm gonna grab a replacement. So, un moment, senor. Un moment, senor. While I find a replacement. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on the hunt for one now. Uh, so yeah, power supply repairs is not something I'm going to be doing. So with me, 
they just get replaced. And the reason for that is because working on power supplies, if you're not experienced, can be very, very dangerous. And I would not rather not risk my life for the sake of earning a few pounds. It's just not worth it. Personal choice. If other people want to work on power supplies, that's their choice. But for me, it's a no. Right. I've got to find a power supply and I can't seem to find one. Um... Hmm. Where have I put my replacement power supplies? I know I've got some. I've got a power supply, but I don't think it's a good one. I think it's faulty. Not in the sense of tripping, but I think it's faulty. Not a hundred, ah, never mind, I can see one. It's right here, right in front of me. Um, and this one is a non-good power supply. I know I've got two working and one that I believe is faulty. Someone sent it to me. Uh, so these cost, to buy a PSU, I think they cost around about £50 in the UK. Um, so it's not worth risking your life for the sake of £50 if you're not experienced on them. And I'm not experienced on them. So... Yeah, please don't ask me for advice on fixing power supplies. I do fix them sometimes, and I can fix them, but I'm not experienced enough to advise people on it. I'm not a power supply technician. So, yeah, I just don't fix them for that reason. Uh, right, that's back together enough just to test it. So let's just throw it into a housing. Actually, let's put a screw in the, a screw or two in the power supply first. And if the stream cuts off, I apologize in advance. Uh, And if the stream cuts off, I am screwed because I don't even I don't even have my phone up here. So yeah, I'd be kind of screwed. So yeah, I'm just gonna just secure in this power supply in just so as I can make sure it doesn't get trapped. Are you based in the UK? I am, yes. Yeah, so... Pre-warning that the stream could end up cutting off here. And if it does, I'm not going to be back for around 10 minutes. Because I'd have to go downstairs, I'd have to reset the... Uh, damn it, that's the wrong way. I'd have to reset... Oh, shit, what the hell? Battery exhausted. What? Are you taking the piss? Why is my camera not charging? Hang on a second. The stream hasn't cut off, but hang on a second. Let me put that onto side cam. Uh, don't understand 
how the um, battery could have cut off there. Uh, sorry, don't understand how the battery is dead. Damn it, stop it. <laughs> that timing, yeah. Right, I'll put it, I'll put that onto side cam. Uh, I think, or rather, I don't think this USB C cable is charging my overhead cam, which is rather strange. Hang on. So I've just um, unplugged that cable. I'm going to plug it in. To a different charging source. And now Right, well that's charging now, so I'm going to keep it on the side cam for a minute or two. Yeah, I'll keep it on the side cam for a minute or two. Just while I assemble this, because it needs a little bit of charge in it. Uh, which way is this meant to go? That way. Yeah, it needs a little bit of charge in it for it to be able to stay on. So I'll just partially reassemble this. And there we go. Partially reassembled, and here we go. It hasn't tripped my electrics. It's also not turning on. Hmm. It's not even beeping. I love you in pink. <laughs> Thank you, Oz. Check the power switch. Yeah, I will do shortly. Let me just confirm. Let me just confirm that we've got power going to my socket. Because I have unplugged everything while I was away. Do not touch probes if you are probing one of these figure of eight leads. Because this has got 240 volts running through it. And yes, I do get power. So. 
244 volts. Always disconnect live first. Well, actually, no, you meant to disconnect neutral first, I think. I don't know. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Either way, the cable works. Um, you're not meant to do that at all, to be honest. Not on one of them leads. But you will get a good old zap if you touch them. Yeah, that's not that's not pairing on at all. Okay, let's get it back apart. Remove Earth first. <laughs> no, I don't think you should remove Earth first, should you? I'm not an electrician, like I said. I don't know. Speak to Big Clive. Big Clive's a, Big Clive channel's awesome. All right, come on, you bastard! There you go. I've tried the eject button, mate. He wasn't making any noise or anything. Right, well, that is a non-good power supply. But I can... Seven months as a member. Nice. I can confirm whether or not my power supply is working. So I can plug the power supply in with it not plugged into the console and see if it's putting out 12 volts. And if it's putting out 12 volts, then it should at least attempt to beep. So I'm wondering if something's happened to the board and that's caused the power supply to fail. 115 volts there. Yeah, different countries, different uh, different power requirements. Uh, right, so what we can do, if we plug in the power supply. So for these to power on, we need... 12 volts on this connector and we also need 12 volts on this connector this connector powers the safe bridge board and this one powers the main board with the apu so if we go into dc mode on the power supply negative on the black terminals positive on there and I'm getting 11.75 volts. God damn it. Motherfucker. Right. Yeah. So I'm getting... Give or take with the voltage drop. 12 volts. On that one. So we're getting 12 volts going through to the APU board. Are oh, we getting 12 volts on the Southbridge board? God damn it. Yeah, we are. Okay. Yeah. Just signed up for electronic sodium so they don't hear Phil talking about how straight he is all the time. What do you mean? Oh, you... You want sub from Big Clive? Right, okay. Uh, I mean, Big Clive, yes, Big Clive is gay. That's his choice. Um, you know, it's uh, perfectly acceptable these days. But that's if that if that's your choice. I mean, I'm not one to argue with the choices people make. I've personally got no no problem with it. Hello, master. Hello. 
Right, okay, so I'm getting 12 volts on that power supply. So that power supply appears to be fine. So I think we've got an issue with the main board. Danny, your boy. I didn't know that, mate. Didn't know that. I know, I know there are a few gay people on who watch this channel. Right, okay, so I'm in continuity mode. I'm just checking the power connections. There's no short on that one. Or rather on that board. And there doesn't appear to be a short on that board either. So that's rather strange. That we're not getting any output. Or rather any uh, connection at all. Sorry, not connection. Any um, signs of life at all, even with a non-good power supply. Very, very true indeed. Can you fix my toaster? <laughs> all depends what bot is using as a bridge to connect YouTube with Twitch. Um, I'm using Restream's bot, I think. Um, so YouTube chat goes over to Twitch, but Twitch, Twitch chat don't go over to YouTube, if that makes sense. Uh, right, I should have enough charge in it now to be able to turn my overhead back on. I'm gay like my teeth is too much. <laughs> Holly, you are female, aren't you? I think. Yeah, I don't have a problem with um, people's sexuality. I've always said that I would never have a problem with people's sexuality as long as a gay person didn't try it on with me. And I'd always stick to that because I'm I'm obviously straight. So as long as they can accept my boundaries, then I'm absolutely fine with whatever life choices they make. Doesn't make a difference. Doesn't make anyone any different as a person, in my opinion. Right, well, I've got a theory here, but I don't know if that theory is going to be correct. So, my theory on this is potentially a power surge because of thunder and lightning, maybe. If that's the case, then we could have a short on the 5 volt rail rather than the 12 volt rail. So the power surge could have taken out the HDMI encoder as well as the power supply. And the HDMI encoder is known, or the re-driver, re-timer, whatever you want to call it, it is known to cause no power issues on the Xbox One X. I don't know if it's caused no power issues directly on the Series X yet. I don't think it has. I haven't seen any cases of a complete no power. I have seen a case of a beep on beep off caused by the uh, re-driver, re-timer, encoder, whatever you want to call it. So it could have taken out the two at once. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check the 5 volt rail on the, um, on the HDMI port. So that's going to be either pin 4. 18 or pin 19. So let me just check for a short on those two pins. No, we don't have a short on pin 18 and 19. Uh, we could still very well have a short on there. So I'm wondering if I should just... Um, well, I'm going to take the board out anyway. I'm going to disassemble the board. I'm going to do some tests around there because I do have a feeling that it could be down to that. Um, so I'm going to look over this board first, I think. Sub to Phil's OnlyFans. <laughs> Told you not to share that link with anyone, Danny. hate taking these off. They've actually uh, they've actually got rid of these in the second revision of the Series X, which I find interesting. 
Maybe they was just being over cautious in these designs, and then realised they don't need to don't need to spend an extra cent to put it on there. Either level, they got fed up with putting taking them off the shelf on warranty jobs. So one thing I am going to be doing in a minute is grabbing the schematics. For this console because if you didn't know the schematics are available they did get leaked last week or the week before one of the two but either way they got leaked and they are available which is awesome because that means even though we've got no board view we can at least kind of get a sense of what could be causing the issues Every post is £50 to unlock. <laughs> yeah, that's per post. There we go. Okay. Imagine paying to see nudity on the internet. Yeah. So yeah, my theory is that it might have taken out the HDMI chip, but I could be wrong. My theory is that it's had some sort of a power surge. But I do want to give the board an inspection. Hey, Phil, I'm back. I had to give my ne nephew a shoulder ride back home. Nice, mate. Cool. At least he got home safe. Damn, them screws are tight. Never underestimate the, the power of the internet. Yeah. Are you a lefty? Uh, I am a lefty, yes. I am a lefty. So yeah, I, I have actually got the camera Im image flipped, but that's because just because of the way I've got... Uh, that's just because of the um, position I've got my camera. Um, but yeah, left is left and right is right on these, uh, on my cameras. He did his only five. Oh, well, at, le at least you're looking after him, mate. I can respect that. Right, so does anyone else have any, I mean obviously I haven't done any diagnosis on this, does anyone else have any other theories other than um, a power surge? I mean, personally, so far at least, I'm not seeing anything what could be a cause so far, but I haven't looked under the... Microscope, pardon me. I haven't looked under the microscope yet. We could get under here and see a big burn mark somewhere. I've got the e cups. So let's look under the microscope. What hand do you wave with? <laughs> right if I'm feeling fruity. There's always the V-Time uh, V-Driver chip. Yeah. Any fun picking up screws and stuff with the gloves on? Uh, I'm not a fan, to be honest. Right, so let's just give a, a quick visual inspection. The problem is you have to inspect four different boards. That's the annoying thing. So what I'm looking for here to start with is just going to be signs of blown components, signs of burn marks, things like that. 
Uh, let's scan around here because this does handle some of the 5 volt output to the HDMI port. Joel. Joel Brockway just subscribed on Twitch. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that, mate. So I'm just going to scan for shorts to ground. I'm not finding any. Is there any shorts somewhere? Uh, I don't know yet, mate. I haven't got that far in yet. Uh, so normally when there's a short on the 5 volt line on the... HDMI port that would normally cause a beep on beep off as far as I'm aware This liquid looking stuff is off the thermal um, pads the viscous paste So don't worry about that So there's not really much to these boards because of the split board design um Actually, let's zoom out so as you can see more of the board at once. I know that this is some sort of a power management IC. I'll check around there if I don't find much else. I'm not seeing a lot. Not on this side, anyway. Factory thermal pasta. Right, there's a 5 volt test point here, I can check that. Okay, there's no short there. So I can go around test points and things and, uh, and test things. I've got a 12 volt test point here. I have tested 12 volt though, it doesn't appear short. Yep, nothing. Or no short at least. Someone's been messing with the SSD on this. Yeah, I'm not seeing much of anything. To be honest. Yeah, I would expect that too, Mike, but it could have just taken out the HDMI encoder. It has been known. Um yeah, let me let me switch back to overhead for a minute. Um, I'm going to need to inspect the Southbridge board as well because, well, we just don't know. So that means taking that apart. I could just try a different Southbridge board, but as far as I'm aware, they're married. And you can't swap them. So I might as well just inspect this. Board looks clean. It does. It does. That's the concerning thing here as well, is that the board looks clean. I mean, we don't know what this board looks like. It looks clean here, but we could definitely have um, some other issue underneath I think it beeps on beeps off if you change the safe pitch board yeah um, but the problem is the only time I've tried it was on that smashed up Xbox Series X that I bought so yeah whether or not that was just a case of that Southbridge board being faulty, I don't know, unfortunately, and I'm not going to know until I get a known good working console. Don't really fancy taking my own apart just to try it. 
I mean, I could one day. Can I get this off without taking that Wi-Fi board off? I don't think I can. Hundred and seventy two likes now. Cool. Hundred and twenty eight to go. Come on people. Drop the stream a like if you want me to work on another MacBook tonight. Right. Let's just uh shift that for a minute. And yeah, that board looks clean as well. I don't even need to put that under the microscope because there's not that much to these. Uh, yeah, that board looks incredibly clean. Whoops. I don't even need to put that under the microscope. So that's the worrying thing here is that the boards look so, so clean. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to probably try... Actually, let's check for a short to ground on the 3 volt line on this board. Because 3 volt is required for the um, power button. So there's a 3.3 volt test point just here. And nope, no short to ground on there. Okay. Uh, three P three F T D I. No short. 12 volt test point on here. No short. Um, safe bridge 1.8 volt. There's no short. Hello. Okay. Let me show you that under the scope, and I'll show you what I'm testing. We've got a short on the 5-volt line on the south bridge board, by the look of it. As far as I know, that's not a low-impedance line. It shouldn't be, not being a 5-volt line. And if you look, we've got the 5-volt test point there. So if I probe ground, and I probe the 5-volt test point, you see we've got a short there and this test point goes straight to here it goes straight to this what looks like some sort of a MOSFET so yeah as far as I know that's not meant to be shorted but let me double check it on another safe bridge board Alright, so it's going to be a little bit difficult. I'm not sitting there unscrewing all of these again on this safe bridge board. I can get to the test point. Yeah, okay, that's not meant to be shorted. What if it's those tiny caps? Uh, I can look at the schematic, find out what value they are. But yeah, I'm probing that test point there. That's not meant to be shorted, so it's not a low impedance line. So, I've got a feeling that it's blown that chip. I've got a feeling it's blown that chip. Now, I don't know what that chip is so I'm going to be downloading the schematic very shortly just to find out what the chip is and what it does could inject 5 volts actually now I look at that closer it looks a little bit burnt 
so I wouldn't inject 5 volts here and the reason for that is because we don't know if it's going to be shorted to any other line. So it could very well be shorted to let's say for example a 1.8 volt line. And if it's shorted to a 1.8 volt line or a 1.1 or even a 3.3 if you inject 5 volts, that's going to send 5 volts to whatever line it's shorted to. So yes, it's shorted to ground, but it could also be shorted to another line as well. And it's not worth the risk. So what you do is you start off at 1 volt and hope that it produces enough heat to be able to detect the short. So let me just get my bench power supply set up. I am going to inject voltage. And I'm just going to use the isopropyl alcohol method to try and figure out if that chip is shorted. So I've got my bench power supply on. I'm going to set it at 1 volt. So we start at 1 volt, keep it nice and low. And then I'm going to ground it with the probe. And if it actually grounds, then I might be able to get somewhere. So it could be, given where it is, it could be something to do with uh, a SATA cable or something. We just don't know. That is drawing 5 amps. That's a lot of current that's being drawn from that. So let's just spray some IPA. And it is not. It is not that chip. So we're drawing 5 amps on this board and it's not that chip. Which is why I didn't just go straight for taking it off. So that's interesting. So now I've got to try and figure out where it is. Do we have any damage to the USB ports? We do not. Or at least not as far as I can tell, but 5 amps is a pretty big short, to be honest. 5 amps is a rather large short. That's some current going through that. So, I'm just going to drain the board in IPA. And IPA is non-conductive, by the way, so don't have to worry about shorting anything out. So let me use the AWI test and see if I can figure it out and pick it up. That side of the board is very cold. The safe bridge is cold. We've definitely got a short somewhere on this board and I think I'm going to have to go and grab my phone because I need the thermal camera, I think. I think I need the thermal camera for this. Let me... Let me increase to 2 volt because I don't know if 5 watts is going to show itself as a short. Okay, so now we're drawing... No, we're not. We're not drawing nothing because it's not, it's not properly grounded. Let's just unplug these cables as well, actually. Make sure that it's not a short in these cables. That is always possible. Okay, now we're drawing 5 amps. I think I'm going to have to go and get my phone so I can use my thermal camera. Because I'm not feeling that 
get even slightly warm anywhere. Which means that's a pretty big short on a big surface area. Yeah, I'm not seeing anywhere get hot. Why do I get a feeling it's one of the one of the USB ports? If it's a USB port, it's not going to get hot. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So unless it is one of those tiny caps. Huh. Let me let me see if I can grab the uh, schematic. Does anyone? Because I don't have the schematic on my computer. Does anyone have the schematic on Discord that they can just send me a quick link to? Save me hunting around for the link. Oh shit, I, I've changed my password and I haven't got two-factor. I haven't got my phone for two-factor. Um, could someone send me a link on... Could a moderator send me a link at all? Because um, I haven't got my phone on me and I need, um, need two-factor. I can't log into Discord, mate. I'm not logged in. I changed my password, if you remember, because someone tried to hack me. I can send the file directly. I've got it on my phone, that's the funny thing. So I need to be able to log in through two-factor authentication. I can't do that without my phone. The chip is a MOSFET. Yeah, I thought it was, yeah. Um, I don't think it's going to be that cheap, though. It's not getting even slightly warm. Ah, there we go. Thank you, Ryan. Let me just grab that. Is that the right one? Yes, that's the one. There we go. Okay. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate that, dude. Right. So, we have schematics for the Xbox One S, Xbox One S, Xbox One X... So the Xbox One S, Xbox One X, Series S and Series X. Uh, there's a link in YouTube chat if anyone wants it. So we've got Series X. And this is going to be the South Bridge board. So it's going to be SB. Uh... Let me find C127. So that... So what have we got here? C127 is... Have you ever been swatted? No. Uh, so if you look at the microscope... If we look here, we've got C127, which is a um, capacitor on the board. So I've just hunted for that. 
and on the schematic that's come up with audio so we've got the audio amplifier so let's have a look what's on here so we've got v5pl so this is the test point uh it's got a shunt resistor and then you've got a speaker amp uh audio pwm out so it comes in here uh, and it goes to isd 8104 let's find that let me just hunt around on the board for isd 8104 I've got to find this chip. Or is that... Yeah, that is, the, that, is that chip, isn't it? Uh, it looks like that is that chip. And you've got pin 1, pin 4 is voltage in. So... Pin four, hang on, C127 uh, goes to VDD, sorry. Uh, hmm. I don't know if it is going to be that chip. I don't know if it is going to be that chip. No worries, Ellis. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that, mate. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's going to be that cheap because, I mean, we haven't got a board view. This is the problem. Uh, let me see if I can read this chip. Uh, oh, wrong scene. There we go. Let me see if I can just get a, a reading of this. Um, I want to try and get a pin out for this to try and find out where. See, pin number one is here. So I, I would assume that's pin number two, or is that pin number four there? V in. Uh, it's labelled U twenty six. Uh, yeah, there is this chip. Um. Okay. I didn't even see U26 on the schematic there. It's all good. Let me... Let me get my multimeter probes back. So if pin number one's here on the bottom right. And we have a short on this pin here. So that's going to be... Um, pin number five V out V out P pin number five so speaker amp out and that just goes to the speaker that just goes to the speaker Pin number seven. Um, I don't. It's not pin number seven, is it? No, it's because it, it's the opposite side. Um, and we. Oh, hang on. Uh, pin number seven is ground. Um, uh, it might be this chip. It might be this chip. Uh, I don't think the shorts on pin number six because pin number six is VDD and that's that one. The short is on this pin, which, according to the schematic, is uh, 
V out. P number five. Apparently. Which is V out positive. Going straight to the speaker. So either we have a short on the speaker, which I can't see being the case, or we have a short on the um, the chip. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Willenhall in Wolverhampton. Let me try taking the chip off because I can't see being the speaker, if I'm being honest. Pin 5 is top row to the chip. Uh, according to this, pin 5 is second pin down, according to the schematic. Um, so pin number 1 is where the dot is, which is here. Uh, and pin number 6 is on the top, top right, apparently. A C121 short. Uh, where's C121? You think it's C C121? Should I remove C121? I mean, because I'm getting no heat, I'm getting no signs of heat on this, so I think it's just going to be pretty much a guessing game. Can't see any reason why C121 would be short. Doesn't look damaged. Let me remove it. Let me see if it clears the short. No, I don't think it would be that because it's not. Oh, actually, C one twenty one might go to it if it go, if that cross is underneath the chip. I don't know. Do we get continuity from C one twenty one to to that pin? No. C121 is not connected to that pin. I think it goes through to the other side of the board. Um, no, it goes through an internal layer. Oh, that's annoying. How's it going, RB? I think it's this chip, to be honest. I'm going to remove this chip. I don't think it's going to be... A... Well, it might it might just be a simple case if it's a cap, but... Uh, I'm going to remove the chip. It's probably going to be the most likely scenario. I got my hot air at 440, 40% air float. God damn it. Let's increase the temperature. There we go. Because now we can see the um, now we can see the uh, the layout as well. It's still short. It's still short. All right. Okay, okay. I'm going to leave that chip off for now some ground plane it is it is indeed so the heat's probably all going down to ground that's the problem so the thermal cam I don't think is going to help in this case if 
But I'm going to leave that chip off for now. And let's start removing components that are connected onto this line. Damn it, I've just lost that cap. U41 is providing 5 volts. Uh, U41 is that chip, isn't it? The one that I've just removed. Oh, no, it's not. That's U26. Um, well, I'll find U41 in a minute. Shorty's still there with both of those uh, components removed anyway. I'll figure out what that cap is later on. Um, yeah, a couple of people are saying uh, U41 is coming, he's providing 5 volts, so. Let me just put this cap back in line. Let's find U41. There it is. Okay, cool. Right, let me just clean this up. So let me find U41 on the schematic. See, I haven't been through the schematic yet. This is the first time I've seen it, because I just haven't had time uh, and no reason to go through it yet. So U41 is a real tech chip. And it's going to be... Uh, let me just... Go on to here. Uh, it's a 5 volt reg, U41. Uh, RT, that would tell me that's a uh, real tech chip. Um, is it going to be V out, pin 10? goes to our pin 10 goes to our 264 it's going to make it easier to to find it our 264 is here somewhere uh one of these. So let's see if we've got a short around here. Yes. So is that pin 10? It might be. So the way these look like they're laid out, C1, C214 is there and 264 is there. So I'm assuming that is pin number 10. And we do have a short there. <clears throat> Five volt and no heat from the board, yeah. So let's remove that chip then, and let's see. If that clears the short.
Damn it. Damn it, even more, just lost some components. That weren't meant to happen. But never mind. That's a bit of a weird cheap layout. There's one for the blue reveal. Oh well, can't be perfect all the time. <laughs> anyway. Let's have a look on R264 now. Um, what do you know? Short gone. And short gone there as well. So it is, R it is uh, U41. Boom. There we go. Hey, Raven. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you for the gifty, mate. Let's put this cheap back on. That short is relieved. Raven 4757 just resubscribed for eight months. Thank you, Raven. I appreciate that, mate. Alright, so let's just tin up these pads. A little bit of a small tip for that job, but never mind. Good and easy when you can read schematics. Yes, very true. That's very true. It's a lot easier when you've got schematics. Uh, I'm not great at reading schematics. I haven't had that much experience with them. I need to figure out what cap I need to put here as well. Mind you, I could just take one off the donor board. Not leave a solar blob there. You are, believe me. No, I don't think I am, mate. To be honest, I can read them, but I'm not. I'm not the best. I'm not great. You know, I'm average at the best, at the most. You know, I can read them. I can get by, but that's about it. I haven't had that much experience with schematics, that's the problem. Ignore that run cap. Um, oh, do you mean that? Yeah, I'll, I'll get it off the schematic anyway. It's C127. Um, so I can get that off the schematic. But I'll probably just take it off the donor board because I'm not going to have one of those chips in stock. Unless it's on another board. Uh Right, C127 is a 100 nanofarad 25 volt 201 cap. So I can probably find that on pretty much any board if I need to. Um, if I'd have to go, no worries, Midlife Lab. Thank you for hanging out, mates. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so if I go to the schematic, you can see we've got the 0.1 microfarad, which is 100 nanofarads, and it's a 25 volt cap. And two, it's a 
Ultra or one size. Um, so I can get one of them off pretty much anything, to be honest. Uh, to be honest, it would probably be fine leaving that cap off, but if I've got to grab U41 off a donor board, then, you know, I'm probably going to end up grabbing that cap off the same place, or rather off the same board. Uh, so U41 is RT6256CH. RT, sorry, I've got to, it won't let me double click this for some reason. 6256CH, 6256CH. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to see if it's on any other board. So let's say, for example, on the Xbox One S. Actually, no, it's more likely to be on the Xbox One X. Uh, so if I just search the schematic for that. And uh, no, it's not. So it's not on the Xbox One X. Uh, is it on the Xbox One S? Oh, that's a board view. Cool. Nope. Is it on the Xbox Series S? Because I've got more Series S donor boards than I have Series X. Hey, there we go. Boom. Look at that. U432. I can pull that straight off there. So I can pull that directly off a Series S donor board rather than having to worry about a Series X donor board. Which is awesome. That's good to know. Because I've got a completely destroyed Series S right here. So, all I need to do now is locate the fucker. And I'm looking for U432 on the Series S. So, I'm going to hunt around for that for a minute. Until I find it. I've got U402. U432. Here we go. Here we go. Glad you traced it further. Right, so I know where that is now, so I'm going to prep this um, this board I'm working on because I can pull it off there. So I know where it, I know where to find it on the Series S. So obviously, Series I'd rather use a Series S than a Series X as a donor board, and the reason for that is because, like I said, I've got more of them. I've only got one Series X donor board, and I don't know which one out of the two boards I've got that it is. So, I would much rather just pull it straight from here, on this Series S board, rather than messing around. So, bear with me. you got a, you got a Discord. Who's that, mate? Oh, Steve. Uh, I didn't know you had a Discord, Steve. Right, I think I need to use a little bit of hot air, save faffing around changing tips, because this tip is really, really small. There we go. That'll do. Okay. So, let me just pull this off the donor board. Uh, 
actually I'll just show you where that actually is so if you look just here by where the external SSD plugs in it's just down here and that's the same chip so it looks like they use the same uh, same components which is kind of expected they came out at the same time so yeah I'm just gonna pull that off a donor board And my gloves are now torn, which is nice. There we go. Right, that's not quite lined up. Just going to add a little bit more flux. Damn, this chip's awkward to solder. Aha, you son of a... I slipped. Well, I need to press down and then get rid of the excess solder so as I can position it properly. It's a little bit awkward sometimes to do it. Especially with the design of the chip. I've seen chips with similar ground pads before, but... None with just two ground pads like that, it's rather weird. Like two ground pads in a line. And no centre pad. So that's not quite lined up, I just want to get rid of this excess solder. It appears to be a rather tricky chip to solder. The surface tension seems to be pulling that back in. It don't seem quite straight to me though. Now it does. So it's only look with Intel 10th gen. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I've never seen that design. Um, I've seen similar. Um, there's a similar one on the Xbox One S. Uh, 
It's not quite the same, but it's a similar design. All right, well, good to go there, I think. Or rather, well, good to go on that chip. board you took it from I took it from a series S yeah uh, let me just try and inspect this chip a little bit just to ensure I've got no bridges of any kind if I can I think it might be a bit, might be a bit too far out. Uh, I've lost it now. There it is. What the? My fucking TV's just rebooted. And now I can't see my screen. <laughs> what the hell? How's my TV just rebooted? Why? What the hell? Hang on. That was weird. Exchange handover, maybe? Could be doing a software update. Could be, yeah. Pin one might not be in the right spot actually. Yeah, that's that's out. That's out. That's uh, I don't think that's I don't think pin one's I don't think I've got it correctly oriented. It's cool, I'll do it again. Yeah, I've 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 angled it, I've put it wrong. I need to turn it round. That's why it's not aligning properly. Well, there's another one for the blue reveals. So I've grabbed it off the board and I've put it back onto this board as if I've got them in the same orientation and not took into account the fact that it's a completely different frigging board. Building retro gaming consoles. Uh, I don't know. I, I want to do more retro repairs. I don't think I want to do like mods and stuff. Yes, that's completely my fault. I've just took, not took into account the fact that I've took it off another board and I've just done a straight swap, like without turning the chip round or anything. I'm a bit of an idiot sometimes, but oh well, it happens. Oh well. Yeah, so if I'd have actually looked at the bottom of the chip, you can see which way it goes. It's pretty friggin' obvious. 
There's no disputing which way these chips go. But yeah, I've never seen a layout like this before. It's kind of weird. Ah, you. Stop it. Don't turn around. Oh, I swear, you know, in a minute, I'm going to get mad. Ah, I'll drop the chip. No. Get off my tweezers. Get off my tweezers. Damn it. The old cheap slip, yes. Well, that certainly lined up a little bit better. <laughs> Felt like it went down easier. Too much flux. No such thing. That's blasphemy, that is, Andrew. Blasphemy. How can you ever say there's too much flux? Absolute blasphemy. I honestly don't know, Robert. I honestly don't know, mate. I can't help you on that one. Right, okay, so... So... 
we are almost ready. Let me check for a, a short, make sure we don't have a short on that line anymore. Aha. Uh -huh. Apparently we do. So apparently the shorts come back. Hmm. Is that cheap that I've put on there bad? Oh, don't make me take one off a donor board. Don't off an Xbox Series X board. Don't be a dick. All your life. I've tried injection, uh, Andrew. Yeah, it was good, Dave. Thanks. This is a Series X with no power, mate. I've whittled down the issue to a short on this chip. I've just replaced the chip and uh, we've now got a short again. Yeah, that chip's in line as well. Very much in line. So, I'm going to say that chip's probably bad. Because we did clear the short when... When I replaced that chip, he did clear... When I removed that chip, he did clear that short, so... Yeah. How's it going, Michael? Yeah, that chip's in line. I think the chip's bad. Um, the board I took it off was quite heavily liquid damaged. God damn it. Wait a second. How is that shorted again? Did I check for a short after I put that chip back? This one here? Does anyone remember if I check for a short on this chip here? Or rather a short after I replace this chip. Not replace it, put it back on. It's still there. That, that short cleared. Right, well, I think it's coffee time, to be honest. But that short was definitely clear when I... removed that chip the first time. Well, when I removed this chip. But now we are getting 5 volts. Uh, we are getting 5 amps again on this... Uh, on this line. So... I think... It's coffee time. Um, 
I think it's coffee time and also to grab my hot air gun. Interestingly, it is it is drying up around this area. Problem is I can't see exactly what's causing it. And there's not a whole lot on the other side of that line. So I think I need to go and get my phone so I can use a the thermal cam. Hey, thank you, Technic Nerd. Technic Nerd at Super Chatted four dollars and twenty cents. Thank you, mate. Those two caps there are drawing up. Is it one of them? Very doubtful he's damaged a, a cap by heat. I've never known that before. But we've got a bank of caps we could. They're not dissolving incredibly quickly. Not for the, the amount of heat that's. Uh, not for the amount of current that's being drawn. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go and get my flare camera, uh, my um, my phone, so I can use the um, thermal cam. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I don't think I've got any much. Uh, got much more choice. Okay. Cool. Right. I'll be back. My mics are dying as well. I need to put them on charge. Okay, bear with me. I'm going to grab a coffee and my um, phone for the thermal camera.
Hello. Right, why is that not charging? Uh, there it is. Okay. Cool. Right, so I'm going to have to leave these on charge because they're dead. Right, I've got my phone. Thanks for sticking with me. I don't generally bring my phone into the workshop anymore, so... Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, the reason I don't bring my phone into the workshop is because no one's got my phone number. <laughs> I've changed my phone number. So, let's just load up my thermal cam. I'm going to focus on this area around here, which is where the short appears to be. That's the wrong way. Damn it. Right, so... It's going to be around here that I want to focus on, I think. There we go, calibrate and where am I looking? Uh, there. So, inject. I've got five amps going through that. Uh oh. Can anyone see that hot spot? No, you can't. Damn it. There's a hot spot. Around here, which interestingly enough is by the South Bridge. So I think we have a shorted South Bridge. Why it wasn't showing up with a short earlier, I don't know. After I removed that component, maybe I just wasn't getting a good enough connection when I tested it. But that's showing a shorted South Bridge. Which is obviously a big fucking problem. I think we've got a shorted safe bridge. Which would be a no fix. Sadly, it would be a no fix. Yeah, so can you see that hotspot showing up there? Car underscore thief became a member. Thank you, car thief. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, that's renewals, isn't it? Joseph yeah. Neil Takeshi Neil one hundred and twenty eight became a member. Thank you, Joseph, for renewing. Acids became a member.
Illusions 2142 became a member. That's renewals, yeah. Geo Neo N Ed became a member. We've got some heat around here. Andy Ross became a member. <laughs> that will stop in a minute. Emergency became a member. This is interesting. Because now I'm not seeing heat on the safe bridge again. I need to get somewhere where this is going to ground properly while it's not in my way. Uh, don't have any clips either. But I need it to ground when it's not in my way. Uh, trying to think of the best place to use for ground. Hmm. I'm going to have to use the port. That's annoying. Because now it's going to be in my way. Other consoles like the PS5 and Series X. Uh, thinking of going to PC and getting rid of my Xbox Series X. So like taking time long to fix. I don't think they're that bad. I mean, they, they do produce a lot of units. We're not seeing them that much. Yeah, so I am seeing. It's really, really awkward. This is. I might need to solder some wires. Uh, so I am seeing some heat in some weird spots. Let me just allow this to heat up for a little while because. Yeah, right now it's a little bit awkward. I'm not seeing much. I am seeing a lot of heat go through to ground. And yeah, I am seeing... A lot of heat around here. 35 degrees there. I believe that's this connector here. So has that connector been damaged? Has someone damaged that connector? Because it has had prior repair attempts. Let's have a look. Let's have a look inside the connector if we can. Um, and if not, then it might be somewhere on the other side of the board, but I don't know. Let's have a look inside the connector first, see if there's any damage inside there. Huh. Is that damage to the connector? Thank you, Razor. I appreciate that. Can you replace the SSD hard drives in the PS5? Oh, they're locked down, mate. It does look damaged, doesn't it? Yeah, that's damaged inside that connector. Yeah. 
That's damaged inside the connector. That would explain why the power button is not working. Let's just have a look. Um, all right, so J1. Let's find J1 on the schematic and let's find the pinout for this connector. So we've got. Uh, what is this? Uh, we need Series X South Bridge Board. J1. HDMI VSS. What? That's not it. So it's going to give me all of these uh, jumper points now, isn't it? Right, J1. Here we go. So Nexus board. So that's what they're calling this, is Nexus board. And we have... Where is my... Right, pin 1 and 2 go straight to V5PO. Interesting. And pin 3 as well, is he? Hmm. Right. So, these... Yeah, so pins 1, 2 and 3... If you look at the actual board... We've got a really thick trace here. Hello, Mr. Paul Daniels. I fixed that MacBook from the other day, mate. Just uh, FYI. Uh, damn it. <laughs> I just injected four volts into that connector because I had it plugged into had it plugged into my bench supply. <laughs> Never mind. It's a five volt line anyway. Um, now you know why no 5 volt. Yes, indeed. Now there's a problem with this, and that is that you cannot buy these connectors as far as I'm aware. But if we go, if we look at, if we look at this pin, this connector here, J1 Nexus board, these three traces here are all going to 5 volt, and all of these are shorted. That's a ground pin, and they're all sorting with that. Fix up MacBook bragging. Yes, indeed, I am bragging. It was the screen pull, by the way. Uh, do you remember the one from the last live stream? Uh, right. All it would take is one to three to short to one another to cause direct short to ground. Uh, no, either one, two or three would have to short to pin number five, uh, which is what I'm assuming is happening here. Only the most expensive part. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> it does suck, but, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. Uh, I'll still get it cheaper than I would have paid for one, so... Pill, thank you. PIO became a member. Yeah, so I think what's happening here is... Um, pins 1, 2 or 3... One of, the, one of these three pins is short into ground. I'm going to try and see if I can... repair the connector if I can get the pins back in place so I think what's happened here because this has had some prior repair attempts I think what's happened here is or at least from what I can tell um, someone has attempted a repair and they've damaged this connector they are IPEX sockets oh so you can buy them
Yeah, I'm not going to get anything in there to repair that. So it's pin number three. I wonder if I could... Hmm. I don't know. Hey, Puddle. Puddle became a member. Thank you. Puddle, if anyone's wondering, is the creator and uh, distributor of... Uh, my soon to become live merch thank you product i appreciate you helping the channel out and uh, i am wearing the merch right now yeah so it's pin number three for definite and there's the pin at the back No live merch. Oh, nice. Uh, let me make you a moderator product. And uh, then you can post the link. Uh, so you're going to get a black screen for a second just while I, um, just while I do this. There you go. I feel I left you a message on Discord for those Nexus connectors. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Um, so I just want to confirm, before I remove this connector off another board, uh, and even before I remove it off, see we've got damage to that pin as well, yeah, this is definitely the cause of a 5 volt short. Um, I want to confirm before I end up removing this from a board, but I don't think I'm going to be able to, so I think the best thing to do is to just remove that connector. Focus, you bastard. Uh, there we go. Uh, sweet. Um, Puddle has just posted a link to this T-shirt and cup that I've got. Bear with me. Let me repost that to Twitch. And pin it. Damn it, work, you bastard. Hang on. Take a look on another board. Uh, I do have a donor board for this. Uh, let me pin this on YouTube. I don't think I can pin it on Twitch. There we go. So there's a link to, if I go to my side camera. Uh, no, is it side cam? Yeah, it is side cam. Um, yeah. So, oh, God. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. That's a link to this shirt and this cup. So if anyone does want to support the channel in any way, then yeah, by all means, go and check it out. Or did I send it to ground? Yes, if it was touching the case or if it was touching uh, the outer frame of the... Um, connector then yeah it would send it to ground yeah because the the outer case is um the outer case is actually grounded so yeah it would make complete sense um that logo is brilliant thanks mate um rachel from puddle designed that herself i think it's great i really like it what board is this? It's an Xbox Series X. So yeah, this would make complete sense. Um, being uh, giving it a five volt short if pin number three, which is a five volt line, is bent. So I'm going to remove this connector. The problem is the only donor board I've got. Well, there's only, I've only got one donor board, so I've only got one shot at uh, as a successful replacement. So I don't think that audio IC was shorted, which to be honest, I can't see any reason why the audio IC would ever be shorted. So 
So what I think has happened here is the prior repair attempt, I've attempted to try and diagnose a fault uh, where it's tripping the electrics and they couldn't figure it out. And then during reassembly, they've damaged this connector because this connector wouldn't get damaged on its own and it wouldn't get damaged from drop damage either. So I always think this needs a connector and a, uh, a power supply. Now obviously while I'm live streaming, I'm not going to be able to test the power supply because it'll cut the, it'll cut the stream off if I do, if it does trip the electrics. So, yeah. Wayne, do you repair Xbox One controllers? Wayne does repair Xbox One controllers. Um, I'm not sure if he's here right now. Uh, Uber Micro repairs also as well. About two hours ago, he said it might be a port. Yeah, I mean, this connector's technically a port. Um, I mean, the, the problem is... You don't normally expect it to be a connector. Um, especially when there shouldn't be any reason for it to end up damaged. But, yeah, that would explain why he's not showing any real signs of heat as well. It's rather annoying, to be honest. Maybe you can get yourself an inverter with a 12-volt car battery for situations like this. Um, yeah, I did have one, and it was, um, my car got broke into about five years ago, and someone stole it, never ended up replacing it. Uh, actually, no, it was less than that, it was about three years ago. Running an extension cord from the neighbour's house. <laughs> no, no more, look, they're stealing electric off me. <laughs> Yeah, it's a three, between three or five years ago, my car got broke into and someone stole my uh, power inverter. Um, I think it was about three years ago, I'm sure it was. I never bought one. That is a good idea, though. I should probably buy one of them because I could power that from my bench power supply. But then again, I can only do five amps from my bench power supply, so that's going to be rather tricky. I'd have to have a car battery in the workshop. Um, yeah, as Mike said, expect the unexpected indeed. That's very true. Uh, right, let me just have a look and see if the short's gone off here. It has. So we no longer have a short on this connector. Do we have a short on the uh, 5 volt line that we was working on? Let's have a look. Yeah, to use an inverter, I would have to have a car battery in here as well. I'm better off just using a um, test plug, uh, an RCD test plug. Yep, no short there. So I am probing ground right now. No short there. And no short there. It's that connector. I'm going to surface go that won't power on. Oh, people can't see anything. Obviously, wrong with it. Possible short on board. Did see some shorty capacitors. Maybe display chip fault. Would you like it free of charge? Uh, yeah, get in touch, mate. I'm happy to take it. Everyone needs a coffee mug. Yeah, buy a mug. Buy a mug. <laughs> Let me um, let me set up a short link for the merch. Um, one that I'll be able to post easier. It'll still go to the same link. Um, open dashboard. So we are going to go HTTPS www.pudalt.com forward slash the dash coder. Let's just make sure that link works. Yep, there we go. Uh, add link. And we're going to call it the coder.life forward slash merch. 
There we go. So the cody.live forward slash merch will now go to the merch page on Puddle. Uh, without the www. Wait, what? Oi, work, you bastard. Hey, there we go. Yeah, so the code lot life forward slash merch goes to uh, put up now. Is that a zoot? Oh, I don't smoke that stuff, mate. My partner does. There we go. The code dot live forward slash merch will go to uh, put up. Awesome. Cool. That will do me. I've actually lost my smoke. I don't know where I'll put it. I've put it down. So, oh, I've got it. So, uh, a standard mug, I believe, is seven ninety nine. Yeah, seven ninety nine and twenty one pound for the shirt. Yeah, there we go. Um. The amount of things I fix in a day varies, to be honest. I need a cold and mug. Got to my mate Vince one. Yeah, so do I. I'm actually drinking coffee out of it right now. Well, I'm not because I've run out. Oh, yeah, I am. I've got a fresh one here. I've got two my mate Vince merch cups. Uh, I ordered these directly from Puddles. They come within a couple of days. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... Michael has super shattered $5.55. <laughs> Love the pink plums. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. I appreciate that, buddy. Uh, yeah, the amount of times, the amount of things I fix in a day varies, to be honest. You're still working on that tablet, Luke? You got one of your own mugs? I have, yes. Uh, but I just don't have coffee in it because I picked the wrong one up. <laughs> These arrived today. Same as the shirt. I should not be awake. I feel illegal. <laughs> yeah, I do have a mug. Yeah. Um, but I'm just drinking out of the my mate Vince one at the minute. Riggins 83 just subscribed on Twitch. Thank you, Riggins. Nice, I'm ordering one of them mugs. Cheers, mate. I appreciate that, mate. It all supports the channel. Um, so it supports the channel, and uh, you get something out of it. Put all dishwasher, dishwasher safe. Should be. I'll let you know tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to buy my mate Vince uh, t-shirt, actually, or a hoodie or something. Um, let's, see what, let's see what we can get for my mate Vince. I like to support my mate Vince. Uh, I'm going to buy a hoodie later on. That's what I'm going to do. Wash it and you end up with a plain mug. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh dear. Yeah, the, the the mugs will be dishwasher safe. The My Mate Vince ones are fine, so... Yeah, they'll be fine. Uh, right, I need to steal that connector off a donor board. That's going to suck. Because I don't know which... Uh, which donor board's which. And I've also got a moth in here. Hey there, little guy. So while I'm disassembling this, you guys can watch this guy. Hey, you little shit. It is the lad's birthday now, mate. Yeah. Technically. Technically, it is. It is Cody's birthday, technically. I gave him free rain this morning. 
uh, this afternoon, sorry. I gave him free reign in, in Smith's. Literally let him loose and said, just pick what you want. Well, I walked around with him, but basically pick what you want, put it in the basket. He spent £177. <laughs> so now I'm broke. <laughs> Moth's camera show, yep. These streams are peaceful. Thank you, nerdy. Appreciate that, mate. Oh, my Q legend, man. Mike Gervasi super chatted $50. Happy birthday, Cody. Thank you, mate. I'll, uh, I'll make sure he gets that. Thank you. I will make sure he gets that. What a legend. £177, you got lucky. You know, I actually got quite a bit for that £177. Not going to lie. I did get quite a bit. He got something like 9 or 10 toys. Um, I did post a... Uh, what do you call it? To, um, Discord of the receipt to show what I got. Thank you, Mike. That, that's really nice of you, mate. I'll make sure he gets that. I'll, um, I'll take him... I'll take him to another toy shop next week. What are you repairing? It's an Xbox Series X, mate. Uh, it's got no power at the minute, but I have, well, as far as as far as I know, figured out the short. Uh, not one hundred percent sure yet, but as far as I know, it should be working once I replace a connector, um, and then put the chips back on that I took off trying to fault find it. Order the shirt and a mug. Thank you, mate. Really appreciate the support, mate. Thank you. I have one in the same condition, no power. Um, I think this one... Well, this one was tripping the electrics. Um, and I think it was technician damage because this Nexus connector has been damaged. So, I'm about to nick this off a donor... Well, what I hope is the donor board. I don't actually know. <laughs> this could be the working board. But it don't matter, I'll buy some connectors. Uh, Steve B was kind enough to find them and send them to me. Send me a link to them, so I'll buy some connectors. So I'm going to salvage this one from here for now. Achievement unlocked. Achievement unlocked. It was the connector. Older surface devices tend to have external connector pin damage slash short which can cause no power issues. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Ellis as well, man, you legend. Ellis could be Jason for shutting forty nine dollars and forty nine cents. I hope Cody has the best birthday, birthday cake he possibly can. <laughs> Thank you, mate. I'll make sure he gets that as well, mate. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Right. Right, right, right. Ow! Damn that match. That match gets hot. Jesus. You guys are legends, thank you. I appreciate that. I will make sure he gets something nice with it. You know what he started getting into lately? GTA 5. Like, I know he's only 5, but he just likes the graphics on it. Like, he doesn't understand what happens. It's, it's actually really, really cute. I'll try and get a video of him one day. Um, he'll, he'll throw himself to the floor and he'll go, Oh, I died. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really cute. Oh, mate, he loves ice cream. Too young for that craziness. Yeah, he just likes the graphics. He just he doesn't actually know how to play it or anything like that. He just likes it, really likes the graphics. I think it's just the animations.
Man, I really should not be looking for this green. I should really be having some flux as well. Too much left, yeah. I don't like to add too much flux with connectors. You know what I did buy a couple of days ago? A PSP. Yep, that got it. Uh, then again, that's a little bit slanted, actually. It needs to come up a little bit, I think. I'm not happy with that. It needs to come up on the right-hand side a little bit. I don't want to have to put the ribbon in slanted to be able to get it to connect. That's it, I'm happy with that. I one years ago gave it to a friend friend. Yeah, I had one a while ago and my car blew it up through the 12 volt port. Bought a PSP last week. Nice. The PSP I bought, it was sold as faulty, but it uh it was sold as damaged a damaged um battery connector. And it's not a damaged battery connector, it's actually just uh expanded battery. So I can't even make a freaking video on it, really. Just changing a battery. Uh, but the actual console works. Rigway just subscribed on Twitch. Thank you, Rigway. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you, Ferna. Right, well, that looks... Uh, That looks connected to me. But it's not. Looks are deceiving. This is what I always tell you. Never trust it based on looks. Never trust it based on looks, so I'm going to need to touch these up a little bit. Was it the links I sent you? Uh, no, it wasn't, Jess. I did reply to that, I'm sure I did. Um, the pink one I actually put into my watch basket and missed it. And then I spotted another one and I just ended up buying it. But yeah, one thing I always say is, especially with connectors, just never trust the look. Because half the time you end up, in the, end up with the pins not being connected. So we would have attempted to turn this on and we wouldn't have got nothing. Uh, Wow, that pin there, it certainly takes a little bit of heat, doesn't it? 
I think them pins are both meant to be ground. Which is why they're bridging. Nexus connector, Series X. Yeah, I'll fix the MacBook, mate. There we go. That'll do it. No, it won't. That'll do it. Yeah, I fixed the MacBook and I think I'm on the verge of fixing this no power on the Series X. But the true question is, why haven't you been watching? You friggin' asshole. It's not cool, man. It's not cool. Assistive heat indeed. Right. So now, I'm going to put this chip back on. Um, flexing muscles, not your board. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, mate. That was actually a meme. You probably remember it, mate, from the uh, Adam and Ty T feud. All right, let's use some more assistive heat. There we go. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this chip back on and I'll test for another short again. And then I'll put that other chip back on and test for a short again. Just to make sure we need 64 more likes. Yes, we need 64 more likes before I finish working on this. Sixty-four more likes before I finish working on this board. That includes reassembly, by the way. a bit of pressure on you could hit you 64 times but you'll be there a while creating accounts <laughs> there we go oh come on if anyone wants to see me work on another macbook tonight then i've got to get another 64 likes well i'm going to get 300 likes in total by the end of this repair Otherwise, you're going to be stuck with a boring old Xbox One S. The ball is in your court. The repair stream is in your hands. Alright then. Now I just need to find a toothbrush to clean up with. There it is. So I'm going to clean this up and then I'll test again, I think. Just try and keep it a little bit cleaner. Don't know if this is the original or the replacement chip, by the way. So I think what happened with the short appearing to be gone is I just couldn't have been getting a good connection on that test point. So it appeared to be gone and it wasn't. Because obviously I haven't plugged that connector in since, so it wasn't me that's damaged it. Or at least as far as I'm aware, it's not me that's damaged that connector. Uh... 
Uh, yep, that looks soldered. That looks... Uh, is that in line? I don't think it is. I don't think that's in line. Is it? No, it needs to be over a little bit, doesn't it? That needs to be slightly over. Hmm. You punk ass. These chips are really awkward to solder. That's annoying. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these chips. And I've got a feeling this is going to be a chip which might fail. Because it is a 5 volt leg. Right, is that soldered now? It looks to be. How's it going, uh, Glyn? Hmm. Thank you, uh, Close Slug. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you for the support as well. That side is definitely soldered. I think that I think that's soldered. It's hard to tell, but it looks to be soldered. Let's just make sure that we don't have a short on this top resistor. I don't appear to. And there's no short on that cap either. So I think it's soldered. He does look to be. So let's solder this one. Uh, oh, no, I need to test this test point for a short before I go any further. And, yep, definitely no short there. Stop being hinted at pedantic, it's fine. Uh, I like to make sure I do a good job, mate. You know that. All right, pin number one, bottom left. In the current orientation. And you need that cap too. Yeah, I'm going to take it off this donor board I've just used. It's 
safe hunting for one. Rather than hunting around the schematic for one, I'll take it off the uh, off the donor board I've just took the connector from. Then I'm going to have to buy some of them connectors just so I've got some in stock. There we go. I mean, it's only a 0.1 microfarad cap. It would probably work fine without it, but if it was there to start with and I can help it, then I'll put it back. So if everyone knock a cap off and I don't have one to hand and I don't know the value and it'll work fine without it, then generally I'll ignore it, but if I've got one to hand, which I have in this case, then... I'm better off just replacing it. Damn it. Oh, I'm gone. No, I thought I'd lost it, but I didn't. I thought I'd lost it, but I didn't. Oh, i just got to get this in focus for me. It's a very small cap. There we go. Cool. How do you even solder some of that small? Microscope, mate. A microscope is your best friend with these. You get used to it. It's a struggle to start with, but you get used to them. Right, okay, so there's that. Cool. So now I just need to clean up this connector and we're good to go. Did I clean up the connector? No, I didn't. So, heat up the flux. otherwise we're going to get connection issues on the ribbon Thank you, Mark. I appreciate that, mate. You're fixing a TV. No, it's a Series X, buddy. It's an Xbox Series X. Uh, and theoretically, it should now be fixed. Uh, okay, we've got no short on that line, which is the 5 volt. So, theoretically now, if there's no more short, then this should be good. There's a 
donor board. Uh, is that a donor board or is that my? No, that's the board I'm working with. Uh, that's the uh, main APU board. There's my donor board. Right there. Uh, well, don't know if that's the donor board, so I have to keep that to one side now. It's going to work. I can feel it. I hope so, mate. I appreciate the uh, the vote of confidence, though. <laughs> I certainly hope it's going to work. Uh, Wi-Fi board. There we go. So I've got to screw this back down now. So one thing you definitely can't do is work on these boards while they're still on the heatsink. You'd have no chance. Fingers crossed. Hope there's magic smoke. You know what? You're not getting the middle finger today. No. You're not getting the middle finger off me today. You don't deserve it. Mr. Travis Wanker. I mean Stamper. You don't deserve the middle finger. No. You're not having it. You can get one of them instead. Gibbo! How's it going, mate? How's it going, son? It's all right, mate. How's it going, son? Gibbo! Gibbo sounds like a Pokemon's name. Does anyone agree? I say that every time I see his name pop up. <laughs> so the problem is now is I'm not going to know until tomorrow whether or not I've got a bill for a power supply. <laughs> so I'm wondering if I should leave this apart for tonight. I don't know. Probably not. Oh dear. Steve Beer, are you still here, mate? If so, how much do them connectors cost? Because I'm probably going to need to buy some. Uh, I mean, the one that I've took that... The one that I've took, the board that I've took that connector off, uh, that's not a major issue because I do have a donor board. So if that's not the donor board, then I do have a donor board. Um, I just need to be able to buy some. Right, there we go. So that's back on. So now I need to move that to one side for now while I clean up this APU. And uh, put some fresh thermal pasta on it. And then we're going to hope that we don't have any more issues. You don't need to get all of this thermal paste off from around the edge. I like to try and get most of it off if I can. If it means just running around with a pair of tweezers and just breaking it up a little bit. I just knocked my IPA everywhere. So I actually thought this would be some sort of an encoder fault, but evidently it's not. Or rather, it shouldn't be.
I hope not anyway, because otherwise it's going to be a fairly expensive repair. I don't know how much I need to build for the power supply, because I don't know what the current market value of them is for a used power supply. Generally, when I'm using donor parts, I'll just use... I'll just go based on current market value, not based on what I've paid for it. Um, sometimes a little bit less. If, if I've paid a lot less than what the market value is for it, then I'll sometimes do a discount on it. You know, on the parts cost. But the donor power supply that I'm using is off the Rage Quit power supply. Uh, the Rage Quit uh, Series X that I had a couple of weeks ago. So, I don't know what I would have paid for that. I have already used the SSD off it, and I'm about to use the power supply off it. So, I am making use of the parts, and also that connector as well. I'll have used that connector off it. Because even if I don't... Even if I haven't taken it off the donor board, I'm still going to have ended up using that connector, because I'll have to take that connector off the donor board and put it onto my working board. So, either way... I am slowly using parts off here. I think I've probably made most of my money back on it already. With the parts I've used. I've used the power supply and the SSD. The SSD alone is worth £200. In these. There we go. <clears throat> Delta, how's it going? What was the symptom of the Rage Quit Series X? Beep on beep off. There's $75 for a used one. Yeah, I, th I thought about £50, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, that's probably about right. Um, so, the power supply, I wouldn't charge... Like, I wouldn't go insane and say, right, you owe me £100 for, the, for a power supply replacement and then... You know, an extra 50 quid for diagnosis and replacement of the connector. Um, so I wouldn't charge them like 150 quid. I'd do a discount based on the labour because I, I've only had to disassemble and reassemble it once. Uh, sort of thing. So, yeah, this job honestly is probably going to cost the customer about £120 though. Just based on the amount of work that's been involved. And the fact that it's a prior repair attempt... Um, repair, yeah. Fixing someone else's mess. If I was the customer, I would find out who worked on this prior and I would claim this back because that don't happen on its own. Like that connector, it does not happen on its own. I would make them pay for it. Whoever worked on it before, because he has had prior repair attempts, because a sticker had the customer's name on it, the sticker I removed, had the customer's name on it, and then a quote. And the quote was 50 to 60 pound. 50 to 60 pound for a power supply replacement? Seems a bit low to me. Considering the power supplies cost 50 pound. But, meh. What's going on tonight? Uh, not a lot, man. I'm just, uh, well, just working on some repairs, I guess. Um, hopefully this one's done. Um, we had a short on the 5-volt line on this. And uh, it turned out that we've got technician damage. And the 5-volt pins on the power button connector were damaged. I think it's a power button connector. It was Travis, probably. I reckon Travis did it. Should we make some t-shirts? Should we get Puddle to make some t-shirts saying Travis did it? <sighs> Limited run, 100 t-shirts uh, only. 
Yeah, he's from the panel. Thought he was. Yeah, let's get a... Let's get Puddle to make some t-shirts that say Travis did it. <laughs> Hopefully you can iron it out. I could buy that. Or just some cups. Just some cups. Cups will do. Seven ninety nine. I'll speak to Puddle. <laughs> I'm gonna get him to make some. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let's let's do this. Look, watch this. Create a poll. Should we make a cup that says Travis did it? There you go. Poll. Poll on YouTube incoming. <laughs> You'll hit 300 yeses on that. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that's 90. That's peak. 92%. <laughs> Sorry, Travis. The community has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Is Puddle still in the chat? <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> oh dear. That's hilarious. Hey Vlogger here was abducted by the alien. <laughs> Welcome mate, how's it going? That ribbon's the wrong way round. I think. Yeah, I believe it is. Is uh, the booter streaming tonight, mate? I didn't check my phone, so I don't actually know. Why do 90% of his posts get retracted? Because he don't give a shit what he says. <laughs> Looks like I'm getting my wallet out again. Just fix the damn Series X, you prick. Well. Well. Series X is hopefully fixed. But we're going to get Puddle to make them. <laughs> Just for sheets and giggles, we're going to get Puddle to make them. Because <laughs> guess what? 85% say yes. The majority has spoken. Yeah, at least you'll be famous, Travis. I'll tell you what, I'll even buy one and send it to you. How's that? I'd even buy one myself and send it, yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry now, to be honest. Right then, let's start getting this back together, shall we? And hopefully, 
it's gonna work. Uh, where have I put everything to this? That's the question. <laughs> I'm trying to think what I'm looking for. Oh shit, I am put this plate back on. Damn it. All right. Put up, consider it done. Nice. <laughs> nice. There we go. Consider it done, look. Hey, YouTube. End the poll. There we go. Boom. Consider it done. Very nice. It's nice to meet you. It's cozy. It's cozy. Uh oh. Cody's awake. Why didn't no one tell me I hadn't put this back on? His personal Xmas, of course, is awake. <laughs> yeah, but technically he doesn't know that it's his birthday. I mean, he's five and autistic, so he technically don't know. No, he don't understand. He just sees it as, oh, look, I've got some presents. I know that sounds daft, but it is true. Like he does, he genuinely doesn't understand when it's his birthday. Uh, let's just uh, let's just get this plugged in properly because I'm not not concentrating anymore. Didn't want to tell, didn't want to tell you till you was done. Well, that's nice if you're in it. <laughs> Asshole. Asshole. You are, uh, how do you say, um, an asshole, no? Should have plugged this in before I put that plate back on. There you go. Cool. Sweet. Right. Let's put it back together. Can I get a like check, someone? How many likes have we got? Tell you what, let me check. Oh, now enough. We need 300 likes for me to work on another device. <laughs> Drinking coffee at 2 a.m., you're a savage. Yep. We love it. Oh, we're 11 likes away and I'm nearly done putting this back together. Mm. 
not working on another MacBook unless we get 300. What the hell was that noise? GDX 300. Love oh. the content. Will 300 bits do? <laughs> Thank you, mate. And yes, absolutely. I really appreciate the support, mate. Thank you. Two hundred and ninety-nine. Ah, damn it! Now I've got to work on a MacBook. Why did I have to remind you all? God damn it! Teed cheered X two hundred. <laughs> no worries. Thank Thanks you, mate. For content, mate. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Okay, now here's the challenge. Here's the real challenge. If you can get it back down to 150, I'll stream tomorrow. So if you can get the like back below 150, then I'll stream tomorrow night as well. So now you've got to just unlike it. <laughs> yeah, you got to get it down. you got to go down on me. So now you got to unlike the stream. <laughs> uh, oh dear. you got to get it below 150, otherwise I'm not streaming tomorrow. It's actually quite fun. <laughs> 277. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. I'll just put the screw in there. It doesn't go in there. It goes over the top of the power supply. No! 267. Let's go unlike him. Yeah. Oh, he's the legend here. He's Nick Kennedy here. Hey, there he is. Nick's awesome. We all like Nick. Uh, Travis, can you post a link to Nick's channel, mate? What happened to your gloves? They're ripped. I wore them a bit too long. Can't believe I've just done this. I might just be able to do it without unscrewing the rest of them. I've done that before and managed to get it. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Come on. Unlike the stream. Nick, no spanner. Um, I think you said you didn't want to be a mod, didn't you, Nick? Nick should be a mod, but, I mean, I'm a mod on his channel. I think he said no. I'm sure he did. Could be mistaken. I can make him a mod, though. I just want to confuse the shit out of the algorithm. So, yeah. If we get back down to 150 likes, then, uh back down to 150 likes that he's not up then I'll stream tomorrow <laughs> confuse the shit out of the algorithm why not so you got to unlike it. if you've if you've liked the stream you've got to unlike it disliking doesn't work because it doesn't count but if you've liked the stream then you've got to unlike it I could be, but not here. Every single stream, there's a lot more people that tune in regularly. Um, yeah, I mean, that doesn't matter too much. Let's 
So I have to spend the entire week with you, you're going to stream tomorrow no matter what. <laughs> yeah, so that's why this is the challenge. Because there's going to be 150 people here who... There's going to be 150 people here who have liked the stream. There's going to be 150 people still watching. And people have been liking the stream for the past three hours, four hours, nearly five even. So, it's all down to you guys. It's all down to who's still here. <laughs> I love setting impossible tasks. It's great. Because I doubt there's 150 people here who've already liked the stream. Who can press the like button again to unlike it? Ah. Best fire up my account again. No, it doesn't work. It won't work like that. Sorry. You've got to have already liked the stream. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. See, now because I'm being a dickhead. We all need to hit the like button after the stream ends. Yeah, once the stream ends, it's uh, challenge over. Challenge over once the stream ends. Oh, it is that. Fuck's sake. I'll get there in the end. That one's meant to be there. Not under the power supply, so it's meant to be that way. It's that one that's not meant to be there until that clip goes on. Travis did it. Yeah. 251. 101 people to go. Is there 101 people still in who've liked the stream who haven't unliked it? If there is, unlike it. Because if I get it back down from 300 to 150 likes, then I'll stream tomorrow. <sighs> Mark, how's it going, buddy? I'm good, thanks, mate. Hope you're well. Ah, the impossible task of losing likes. I'll just dislike you, you prick. <laughs> You'll stream tomorrow anyway, you love it. Nope, nope, not if we don't get below 150. Well, 150 or below. Nope, I'll stick to my word. If we get below 150, or rather if we get back to 150, it can go back up afterwards. I don't mind it going back up afterwards. If it goes back, if it goes back down to 150, then I'll stream. If not, then I'm not going to stream. I will refuse and laugh. <laughs> Gotta love it. It's the impossible task because the chances of 150 people still being here. I mean, the thing is, a lot of people will like the stream as soon as they join, and then they're not here four or five hours later to unlike it. <laughs> that's the uh, that's that's the funny thing. I wouldn't mind streaming tomorrow. I do actually enjoy streaming. I just think it's funny to uh, to set challenges. Actually, let me have a look at this ribbon before I connect it in. Yeah, the ribbon seems fine. The ribbon seems okay. Went in okay, as far as I can tell. That's in the wrong way. There you go.
good challenge. It is. It's quite uh, quite the challenge. I could have set it at 200, but that's a lot easier to achieve. So I thought I'd halve it. Like 200 would be a lot easier to achieve because uh, there's more chance of 100 people still being actively watching who've already liked the stream. Because I know there's 300 and something people watching, but you know, 319 people watching, but chances are a lot of that is going to be people who haven't been watching for you know near on five hours. So, yeah, I just like to set challenges. Right, uh, shit, I haven't put the strap back on. Oh, well. Don't think I'm going to put this back together more than this tonight because I want to work on that MacBook because we did hit 300. As long as the stream doesn't cut out when I try and turn it on now. As long as the stream doesn't cut out when I try and turn it on now. Oh, still not pairing on. Hmm. Oh, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. This is, because of the time, going to be backbenched until tomorrow. Phil didn't put his strap on. Yeah, because of the time, this, I think I, I have to backbench this. That's not good, man. Shit, I knew I jinxed it earlier. Yeah, never mind. I'm going to have to backbench it till tomorrow if I want to work, work on this MacBook. Power supply. No, no, I'm good. Power supply, mate. Not good. Cactus focus. Yes. Cord still plugged into the socket. Yeah, I don't generally unplug it. Check the power button board. I had a similar issue when I replaced the board, it turned on easily. Um, yeah, I could check the power button board. Um, I mean, that, that is now lined up. It could very well have damaged the power button board. Um, unless I'm having a connection issue. But I don't think I am. And it's not pairing on with the disk drive either. So that definitely has another issue. Yeah, I'm going to have to backbench it. I'll have to work on it tomorrow night. That's going to suck, man. Yeah, it's not pairing on with the disk drive. Um, yeah, no pair at all, even on disk insertion. So we've cleared that one short on the Southbridge board, but it's definitely got other issues. I still believe the theory about the power surge, to be honest. And then when someone's attempted to fix it, I've damaged it as well. And the worst thing is I've put a frigging connector on there as well. Set it aside and give it time. Yeah. 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 Uh, right. Okay. I'm going to go grab another one. Um, I'm going to go grab a MacBook to work on because it is 2.26am. So, it's getting rather late. <coughs> that sucks. That sucks. I'm responsible for the creaky chair Phil uses. Yep, you are indeed. That's why I won't get rid of it. 
That's why I can't get rid of it. Because uh, it was a gift. It was a gift. So I can't get rid of it. <laughs> Travis did it. Yeah, Travis did it. There will be a Travis did it cup coming soon. Talking of cups, while I'm grabbing that MacBook, I am going to go and grab a fresh cup of coffee. Yeah, buddy. Right, we are. I have a fresh cup of coffee. And a week book. I did just spill a, <coughs> a little drop of coffee on this. Alright. 
So it's only a little drop just on the lid. Cool. Let me just clean up a little bit because it's a little bit of a mess here now. These these can all get pushed to one side. Uh, bear with me. I'll put my mic back on in a minute as well. Yeah, it's flux all over the table, mate, from the last repair job. Kind of gets like that. I shall clean it now, though, before I go any further. Yeah, have a good night, Chris. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. I appreciate that, mate. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see all of the flux all over the table. wrong with this one I shall tell you in a minute I'll go to check why do you keep burning your mat because uh, it's not heat resistant mate I thought it was when I bought it and it's not so let's grab some gloves Does anyone smoke turn a backy? I used to. Back in the day. I used to bite duty free. Uh backy for anyone that's wondering who doesn't know the terminology is is um tobacco. Rolling tobacco, cigarette tobacco. It's uh, it's a slang slang word. Um, right. Okay. Let me actually let me let me hide this a sec just in case there's something on there that I don't want to show. Uh, I bought some stuff on eBay recently, which I don't want people to see until the video comes out. And no, it's not dildos, Travis. But there's certain stuff that I don't want people to see until I actually make a video because I want them to be surprises. So, yeah. Right, okay. So, I have a... MacBook Pro 13 inch 2020 4 Thunderbolt port i5 i7 for spares and repairs. In very good con cosmetic condition, bottom screws are missing, read description, blah, 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 yada, 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 and the description says, MacBook turns on and turns on and fan runs very fast when power button is pushed. Very dim Apple logo can be seen when powered on. RAM and hard drive is present. No further tests have been made. It may have further passwords, may have iCloud lock, I have no knowledge of. Blah, 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 blah. So, I paid £132 for this, which I believe, as long as the LCD works, well, £138.46 in total, as long as the LCD works, it's a 2020 MacBook, and it's worth that just in parts. So, 
let's take a look. Any more cons consoles from CEX to embarrass them? Nah. So let's take a look. So screen looks in reasonable condition. This is the MacBook Pro, not the Air. Screen looks in reasonable condition. Are oh, we gonna get a dong? So this has got a four port. This has got four ports on it, not two, being the Pro. And it is a twenty-two fifty-one. There goes the fan. So apparently you can see a very dim Apple logo when it's pairing on. Pink gloves are back, yep. Okay, I saw I saw the LCD light up for a second. So I believe it's attempting to pair her on. But it appears to be in a boot loop. That appears to be boot looping. Didn't my mate Vince have a similar issue? He did, yeah. Usually a high fan spin is some sort of a sensor issue. Um, could be something like a trackpad issue. Uh, so it could be corrosion, could be a trackpad issue, battery issue. Um, pretty much anything like that. Um, I'm not not seeing this pair on though. God damn it! So I'm not seeing this fire up. It's in a boot loop. So yeah. Okay, interestingly, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's not detecting a battery. And as far as I'm aware, these need the battery to boot. I could be wrong. But as far as I'm aware, these need the battery to boot. I might not be able to work on this. I might have to order a battery. Oh, look. I've got a pink lighter as well. Ha! Right, so, two PS4 controllers refusing to charge, 
Um, I don't really work on PS4 controllers. It could be the USB ports or the cable itself or maybe um, the controllers on the boards. Right, so do we have any voltage on the battery? Any voltage on the battery? No. We have nothing at all on the battery. Okay. No voltage on the battery at all. So let's check for... Well, let's screw the battery back in and let's see if I can figure out whether or not we're getting power going through to the battery or not. So I'm going to expose the test points for the battery. And let's plug it in. High fan spin. Let's get a ground. Don't know what test point is what on this. Right, that test point there is ground. I get 12.59 volts. But it's not stable. 12.59 volts, but it's not stable. I'm not sure if that's because the... ribbon isn't plugged in for this sensor. Let's find out. Nine point eighty five volts. Seems to be climbing nine point eighty nine. So is that battery completely and utterly dead? It might be. Let's see what we get with the battery unplugged. Okay, now I'm getting voltage, but very low voltage. It's not holding a charge. Uh, I think I need to let it charge for a while. Uh, that battery is completely dead, so I'm going to chat to you guys for a little while while we're waiting. We are getting 20 volts. 0.6 amps right now, 0.7, 1.2, that is taking a charge now. Um, that is taking a charge, but it is now boot looping again. And every time it boot loops, it's resetting the current drawer. So I think I need to turn this completely off and stop it from boot looping so as it can actually charge the battery enough. So I'm going to let it boot loop once more so as I know it's not going to turn off on me. Uh, so I know it's not going to reboot, reboot on me. 
because at the minute it's drawing 1.4 amps, but in a second the fan's going to go off. I can see an Apple logo, it is definitely boot looping. It's a very dim Apple logo, so I do think we have a backlight issue. I'm not sure if that's coming across on camera. Uh, we've actually got two amps now, so it might have enough charge to keep it on. Uh, now that's definitely got an Apple logo. Let's see if I can get that to show up. Uh, let me load up my torch. Can you see the Apple logo just there? So we do have the Apple logo, so we've got no backlight. So that's one issue. For definite, there's no backlight, but it is attempting to boot. And I reckon if I was to unplug this now, at least short term it's going to stay on because the battery is taking a charge. But I think we've got a backlight issue. And possibly some corrosion. I think we've probably got some corrosion around something. Maybe the backlight driver I see or something like that. But there's there's also appears to be a sensor issue as well, which is why it's not booting fully. I don't think it's gonna be an L C D issue. Given the fact that we've definitely got a battery issue and we've definitely got a sensor issue, I think it's more likely going to be a board issue than an LCD problem. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to hunt around. While I'm waiting for that to get some charge, I'm going to hunt around for the board number so I can get the schematic. Travis said that earlier. Yeah, no one listens to Travis though. I need to find the board number before I can get the schematic. And I don't know where it is. I do see a little bit of corrosion though. Uh, where did I just spot that? At least I think there's a little bit of corrosion just there. It's a is it a twenty-two fifty-nine? Twenty-two fifty-one. A twenty-two fifty-one. I'm not sure how the backlight circuit works. I've never never worked on one. Hello. Hello, corrosion. Hello, corrosion, and hello, board number. So, we definitely got some liquid damage. And I'm going to just find a schematic for an 82001. Nine four nine. It's still viable to buy a replacement, not knowing if it's iCloud locked. Uh, no, I wouldn't buy a replacement until I know for sure whether it's iCloud locked. I can check the serial number, I think. I've got the serial. Was that the backlight circuit? I don't know, mate. We are drawing 2.38 amps, and current is dropping, so it is taking a charge. Uh, right. Log in. Give me that schematic. Well, thank you. And 
uh, let me just open up flex board view I blame Putin to spill this vodka <laughs> Open desktop R1949 board view. Kaboom! Here we go. main desktop so we've got corrosion down here or somewhere down here I think uh, is it CPU side I believe it is uh, I just gotta find the friggin thing CPU side down the bottom <clears throat> and the corrosion is around here somewhere got a coil there and it's right next to there this cap C8441 E LCD backlight. You deserve a quick fix. Cheers, mate. LCD backlight. So I've got a feeling we've got corrosion on the other side. To be honest. We've probably got corrosion on the other side. And that cap is probably bad as well. So, is the backlight fuse on the other side? Uh, well, that's the inductor. Uh, um, U8400. So, U8400 could be corroded. F8400, you've got PP bus G3 hot on one side and SOSW LCD backlight on the other. So that could be bad. Uh, is, it, is that a MOSFET? I don't know. Um, that could be bad. Q80, no, Q8400. Oh, that's a resistor. Uh, Q8400 is a MOSFET. That could be bad. So it could, be, it could realistically be anything around here. Because all of this here is the backlight circuit. So I've got a feeling that we've definitely got corrosion on the other side. Let's have a look. Uh, I've just cleaned the corrosion, by the way, on the on that cap. Just gave it a little bit of a clean up, but it is burnt. Let's just see if we get any voltage on that. Probably not. We do not. We actually get... It appears to be a short to ground, I can't tell. Alright, well, we need to get the board out. We are going to need to get the board out. It appears short based on the voltage reading. So, what I mean by that is when you've got a short and you're in voltage mode, it usually drops to zero millivolts like this and when I when I test there rather than getting voltage it drops down to 0.5 millivolts knock off the cap and try it yep I was thinking that 
because well I can uh, I can find out what the uh, the value is anyway and that cap is definitely screwed so let's see if I get any change now okay so it no longer appears short so that cap was bad and that backlight just kicked in but not properly it now gives me 0.4 volts so it's definitely not boosting so if I just disconnect the battery there we go reconnect it prompt it to boot let's see if it gives me a backlight So because this machine was still powered on when I knocked that cap off, probably wouldn't have told the backlight to turn on. In fact, the lid was closed, so it wouldn't have had the backlight on anyway. But we're still going to have a sensor issue, no matter what. Very likely still going to have a sensor issue. <whistles> Shut up, uh, soldering iron. <laughs> Give me that backlight, biatch. <laughs> oh shit, I'll just dock someone. Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> I don't know the password. <laughs> Hi, Gary. Hack it now. <laughs> Ta da! And he's booting a lot quicker now as well. It doesn't matter anyway, I bought this shit off eBay. Um, recovery mode. Yep, don't know how to do it though. Keyboard's not working. Right, well. One thing we know for sure is that we've got a good LCD. Um, keyboard is not working, which is why this is going to have a high fan spin, by the look of it. It's not letting me enter the password. I don't know the password, but it's not letting me enter one. Literally contact Gary for his password. Well, I'll contact this person if... I'll try and contact the person. Uh, I still need to figure out this keyboard issue first, though. But I'll contact the person and just basically say, um, well, look, I bought this off eBay fair and square. Can you remove Find My Device off, uh, off it for me? Um... If I can, if I can, if I can contact him, that is. If I can figure out who who owns it. More corrosion. Yeah, he's definitely got a sensor issue because he's still got a high fan spin. So either way, the board's got to come out. Um, let's see if I can get into recovery. So the power button's working. May not even be on. Yeah, exactly. Can you check it through a serial number? No. Keyboard isn't working. Let me see if I can just check this through the serial number. Uh. 
Yeah, so it's booting really slow. Uh, 2HQ. Uh, ML7H. I can't. Oh, it is. It is coming in. Uh, it is coming into recovery mode. Enter your recovery key. Don't have one. Yeah, I don't have a recovery key, so I'm going to have to install... Um... <clears throat> How's it going, uh, Vladimir? I think I'm going to have to install... Through the... Uh... What do you call it? Through the USB. Uh, how do you check a serial number for a Mac? Mm That's booting pretty quickly. It is saying that it's on 16% battery as well. Yeah, the keyboard isn't working for sure. UWE Bristol. Is that a university? Okay, so this is a, a school laptop that's been sold on. Uh, I want to check the... Uh, I want to check the serial number. If anyone's got a way to check the serial number, that's it. I've just posted it on uh, YouTube. Stop and check for a corrosion. Don't want to cause more damage. Yeah, I think that's the plan, mate, yeah. If anyone can check that serial number for me, because I don't know where to check uh, find my iMac. But that battery seems to be working fine now. I've just unplugged and replugged it in. Um, but I think I need to get the board out. Um, yeah, touch bar doesn't appear to be working either. Um, that is the touch bar model, isn't it? So I think I've got to get the board out now to figure out what the sensor issue is and also figure out why the keyboard's not working. But I don't think this is going to be too bad because it's booting up. And it seems to be booting up fairly quickly.
not recovery about this Mac. Uh, what do you mean, mate? See, this is the thing. This is why I buy MacBooks because I, I need to learn them because I, I don't know that much about them and especially about the software. Like, I don't know a whole lot at all about the software. So I need to learn what I'm doing. Don't think you can check your phone while he's activated using the serial number. Right, okay. that is owned by UWE it will be MDM managed uh, yeah I've heard of MDM but I don't know what it means uh, I think I was in recovery manager just wasn't I what is MDM What is MDM? Because I've heard people talk about it, but I don't actually know what it is. Yeah, the worst case scenario here is I've got a MacBook Pro screen fully working in fairly decent condition that I can resell. As well as a battery, what appears to be working, but I would need to obviously test it fully. And also donor parts as well. So worst case scenario, I've got donor parts, and I can make money back off it. That laptop is out of warranty. Um, what do you mean? I don't know. I bought this on eBay. Not a clue. Mobile device management. Right, is that some sort of um, like? Did, would that have iCloud on it, or find my device, or whatever? Would it stop me being able to reinstall it? Because I genuinely don't know. Uh, it might be a stupid question to a lot of people, but to me, I don't, I don't know the answer to it because I don't generally work with MacBooks. So I know what find my device is. Or find my Mac or whatever, but other than that, I don't know. Would I be able to reinstall the operating system using a USB? It does appear as though it belonged to belonged to a, a university. That's how it seems. It says UWE Bristol on it, so I'm assuming it's been recycled by the university. You can bypass MDM. Right, okay. I'd have to read into it. I'd have to look into bypassing it. Um, I mean, I could contact. I could contact um, the seller and try and track down the original owner. I don't think it's been reported as stolen. Very unlikely. And if it has, then I'd get my money back. Um, like if, but this was liquid damage, and generally. If it's owned by a university and it's liquid damage, they're going to be, um, they're just going to recycle it, claim it under insurance. Uh, 
and then it would get sent off to an insurance company where they would just write it off and then resell it to recoup a little bit of money. I would imagine that's what's happened. Is it's become liquid damage and that's it. They've just written it off as uh, uneconomical to repair. Because that's what they do. That's what they do. It's kind of annoying to see, but... You know, it is what it is. Right, let's see if I can figure out how to get this out now then. So I guess just start by removing all the ribbons. Still activated. Um, I'm not sure. Um, Keep it off Wi-Fi and clean install Mac OS from USB. First thing, go into settings and check find my Mac. I don't believe it's on by default. Right, okay. Uh, according to this website, it's still activated. It won't let you post a link, mate. There's links are blocked on YouTube. Um, but I'll try and install an OS. Uh, through USB if I can um, well the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and track down the owner because if I can track down the owner and just say listen can you give me the password so as I can wipe it um, or I might contact this uh, university and just say look I've bought this I've got it working um, can you deactivate it from your activation service or whatever it is that I need to speak to say to them um, because if it's been sold legitimately by this company, then they shouldn't have an issue deactivating it from their end, if that's possible, which I'm assuming it would be. I'm assuming if it's got, if they use their own activation servers, or if, if that's, if I understand it right, based on what you guys are saying, um, then I'm assuming it wouldn't be an issue to um, to deactivate it from their end so as I can all give me the passwords that I need to be able to do a clean install like if they've sold it legitimately then they, they, they have no issue with that not usually So I could just contact um, the tech department at UW, UWE Bristol and just say, look, I bought it on eBay. This is it. This is the account information I'm getting. Can you deactivate it? And if they say no, then I'll try a bypass. If they say no, it's no love lost, is it? I haven't lost anything. Right, 
Right. I need to figure out what I'm missing here. What am I missing on this board? Right, it's that ribbon. That, uh. That screw there. The iPlayer Fine Wire, etc., will be handled by their MDM. Right, gotcha. So if I do a clean install, then it would surely remove MDM. Like if I completely wipe the hard drive. Right, what sent? What sensor is this here? Okay, I can see a ribbon here which I've missed. Is that a ribbon I'm going to have to heat up down in this corner? Why do they make sensors so hard to friggin' lift off the board? Alright, anyway, we're in. Why that's been uncovered there, that RAM, I'm not sure. This one isn't MDM or iCloud according to my source. Hmm. What sort is that, mate? That's what she said. <laughs> right, so I'm going to just... Before I go into any kind of schematics or anything, I'm going to just hunt around. Uh, probably going to be focusing on where that liquid damage was to start with. Actually, we've got a little bit of damage just here, but I don't think that's going to be the issue. So, what do we have around here which could cause sensor issues? I don't think there's anything there. I think it's literally just a bit of uh, can't post link. Yeah, um, if you post it to Discord, one of the mods can forward it. All right, so there's a little bit of there's a little bit of liquid damage here, but like I said, I don't think that's going to cause a major issue. But I will clean it off just for completion's sake. Don't think that's going to cause an issue, though. So if it's not MDM or iCloud, then... Then surely I could just reinstall the system anyway for your SP. Alright, 
So just get rid of that tiny bit of corrosion there. Just clean that up. And I'm just going to keep scanning. So this is where the corrosion was. But like I said, this was backlight related. Uh, that's the cap that I knocked off. And on the other side of the board, directly below, we've got an intersil chip. 924 That's the one that YouTube. Uh, the one, YouTube. That's the one that uh, Lewis Rossman's always talking about on YouTube that he can't get hold of. Uh, but I believe that causes power issues, if I'm not mistaken. So, we could have a, an issue with uh, the chassis itself, if it's been liquid damaged. Not seeing any corrosion around the bo bottom of the board, around where it was on the other side. I don't think it transferred through to there. So I think I just need to hunt around. See if I can find anything obvious. Hmm, what's under here? Uh What's this here? Hello. Hello. What is this? Let's have a look on the board view. Let's have a look on the board view. This is PP1V8. Keyboard drive. Hey, hey. Ooh, hey, hey, hey. Look what we have here. Look what we have here. PP1V8G3S. Keyboard driver. <whistles> Keyboard driver. Yep. Yeet. Ta da. Tada indeed. So that might explain why whoops my keyboard's not working. Dun da 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 Quick reflow should fix that. Quick reflow should fix that. So let's put one millipole of flux on there. That's one millipole of flux. And let's reflow. Preheat the board first. Actually, going to remove this and clean up the pads. I think this pad might be missing. Might have got eaten away. So I believe that we're going to have to do some trace repair here.
Okie dokie. Definitely got to do a little bit of trace repair. Yep. That's not boiling a nice feed on that pad yet. It did. Oh, have we? Is my pad still present? Is my pad still present? I don't think it is. I think it might be gone. It looked there. To start with. And a little bit of scraping, and it looks to have disappeared. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that trace is gone. Yep, she be gone, she be gone, she be gone. So that might be why we've got a sensor issue as well, to be honest. If it's not detecting the keyboard. Okay, cool, we're getting somewhere, we are getting somewhere, now I just need to find my jumper wire, because I don't know where it is, I don't know, and I want to know who my love is. No worries, Ellis. Thank you for Cody's donation, mate. I really appreciate that. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, dude. Mucho gracias. I'm sure Cody will buy something nice with it. Oh. Alright, so, I'm going to restore this trace, let's put a reasonable amount of flux on it this time, thank you Ellis, thank you mate, a reasonable amount of flux, so as to try and keep it as clean as possible, and up this pad or trace rather
You better be going to bed soon, or you'll be falling asleep with the cake. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even got a cake yet. I've got to go to Morrison's at ten o'clock. By the way, if I do stream tomorrow, it won't be till Cody's asleep. Don't go wash your beanie pants. Oh dear. I am tired now. I haven't even eaten yet. And I want to know who I love is. Well, oh, all righty then. Cool. I've ordered Nexus connectors from Ipex. Nice. I'm going to order some uh, probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. How much was there, mate? If you don't mind answering that for me. We'll give you a shout when they come in. No worries. How's it going, big mans? Right, let's just see if I can solder this back on. Where's best to send you a PM? Probably Discord, mate. Ew. 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 Ugh. Suppose I better clean up this component. I don't even know what this is. I think it's some sort of diode pack. Ooh. Might be in trouble here. Hmm, that should be alright actually. That should be okay. So, I think this is some sort of diode pack of some sort. I'll have to check the schematic. It looks to me like it's just cleaned up okay.
Rat then. Let me just double check and make sure that <clears throat> pin one is meant to be there. Yep. Okay, cool. Pin one is meant to be there, so. Uh, this is a MacBook Pro, mate. Uh, 2020 MacBook Pro. Okay, there we go. So that should theoretically have restored that connection. I'm going to inspect it for it should have re restored that connection. I think this is some sort of a diode of some sort. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to check. Or some sort of MOSFET driver, I don't know. Not 100% sure. But either way, it was damaged and it is related to the keyboard. <coughs> you resell the MacBook. If it, uh, if I get it working on 100% then maybe, I think so, yeah. Uh, it all depends, mate. All depends on what the uh, situation is at the end of it. It's a dial pack basically. Yeah, I would imagine so. Yeah, uh, I mean, they're marked on the they are marked on the uh, 
they are marked on the board view as DZ, so I would assume that's uh, a diode pack. Uh, right, the part number. Yeah, it's a diode pack, basically. Uh, PESD3V3L5UF. It's an ESD diode pack. By the look of it. PESD3V3L5UF. Low capacitance, unidirectional 5 volt ESD protection diode arrays. Yeah. I think, I assume that just removing an ESD diode pack would allow it to work again. I think. I could be wrong. I think. I'm not. 100% sure. Uh, the next two in line are for keyboard sense. Uh, huh, not on a Mac. Right, okay. Think different, eh? Uh, yeah, think different. That's Apple for you. Usually removing an ESD diode pack would normally fix it, but I'm assuming there'd be a way to bypass it if needed. If diode itself is dead, would you replace a part? Um, yeah, so if the diode itself is dead, then I would probably have to replace it or find a way to bypass it. Um, so if I look at the board view here, on the first one, which is the one I'm working on, we've got a 1v8 line. Uh, but if you look, this 1v8 line, it goes to all of them. So, if you look, you need that 1v8 line, which was burnt. Oh, hold on. Uh, does it go to all of them, or does it just go through them? I think it just go. It might just go through them actually. Uh, okay, yeah. So it doesn't cross through them. I thought it. I thought it actually went into them, but it doesn't. Uh, yeah, I'm wrong there. Never mind. Um, yeah, so I thought, judging by them lines, I thought it'd go through and pair with the other ones, but it doesn't. Never mind. Ignore me. Uh, let's get a diode reading on that line. <clears throat> so, for a diode reading, red probe on ground. 0.410, that's a good reading. 0.410, it seems like a fairly decent reading. So, I'm happy that I'm happy that that's not short. Uh, so I'm just going to continue hunting. A little bit. But I don't think there's going to be much more liquid damage, if any. 
I've already scanned all of that. Let's have a look on the other side. So we had some liquid damage around that area with those diode packs. So I am going to hunt for liquid damage around here, which is the keyboard ribbon. And I'm not seeing any more liquid damage, to be honest. Not seeing a fat lot else at all. So I'm wondering if that was the only issue. Because uh, it doesn't look like we've got liquid damage in many places. Just the backlight and keyboard is what it appears to me. Yeah. Like the padded corroded on its own. Um, I don't know. I don't think it would have done. Um, we did have signs of liquid damage somewhere else, so it's probably just, you know, it's probably just a coincidence, and it's just ended up in two different places, because there was corrosion around that cap as well for the um, for the backlight, and no corrosion anywhere else. But it was definitely some sort of a liquid spill, and the reason I know that is because we've got signs of it on the fan. So the fan got hit a little bit. So the fan, basically, I think it's just coming through the fan on both sides of the board and just splatted it a little bit because the the keyboard connector is down here, the backlight connector is here, but we've got liquid damage on both fans. So that would kind of make sense because it looks like it's just splatted it in two different places, to be honest. Two different random places. So, next step is going to be to inspect all the ribbons. Just check all of them. Make sure we've got no corrosion on uh, any of the ribbons. So I'm just going to inspect all of these then. The one other thing that we could have an issue with is potentially the touch pads. That, that seems to take a lot of the damage sometimes and you end up with a corroded touch pad. So if we don't fix the sensor issue now, then I'll remove the touch pad to check it. But I would have to order one in. The rest of those sensors seem fine. Uh, the rest of those ribbons, sorry, seem fine. So, I'm going to get it back together enough for testing, if I can. And uh, hopefully, the sensor issue is resolved. Hopefully. So now I've got to, now I've just got to figure out where all these <laughs> ribbons are. So I want to make sure that all the ribbons are connected, just in case there's one with a sensor on it that I don't know about. So I'm going to make sure that I free up every single ribbon. I believe that goes, I believe the Wi-Fi antennas go under and then over, I think. Pain in the arse things. I hate MacBooks. I do. For that reason, like just the reason that there's too many ribbons. Like too many things are connected through ribbons. 
on a MacBook for my liking. It's just time consuming putting it all back together. Really time consuming. See, like that one there, forgot that one. Oh, I missed a bit of corrosion. Hold up. I've missed a little bit of corrosion. <laughs> oh, what is that area? Looks like um, it looks like GPU to me. To be honest. Uh, let me just ro rotate the board view and we are looking by L7230 is that a GPU MOSFET yeah CPU core uh, that could be causing sensor issues I am still on, mate, yeah. That could be causing sensor issues. Um, okay, I'm going to clean this up and just take note because it is getting late. So I'll clean it up, take note. Have I just lost a the cap there? Has something just came off? It might have done. PVCC core. Might have just lost a cap there. Does anyone know if that was there before? Yep, cap gone. Well, it was obviously damaged then. Uh Not a major issue for now. I can figure that out another time. It's only a capacitor. Um, and it probably wasn't making a contact anyway. So, yeah, just noted for now. Um, I think worst case scenario, I'll replace a couple of components around there in a MOSFET. But, meh. I really wound. What, it wasn't there? There's meant to be one there. According to Flex Board View. Oh well. Oh well. Noted about the corrosion being there. I only noticed that because I was plugging in ribbons. I certainly didn't see it. Under the scope. All good. So that could cause issues. But I don't think that would cause sensor issues. To be honest. Look that's like. CPU power. I mean it could. It could cause. Um, incorrect voltage to go through to the CPU. It could drop the voltage or whatever and cause throttling and things, but I don't know. Doubt it. 
just based on the behaviour that the machine's got. Come on, Ribbon, you stupid fuck. That's a cook old issue. Uh, what's a cook old issue? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Not a clue. Sorry. Would you care to elaborate, good sir? Alright then. Keyboard. I hate these keyboard ribbons. Ah, <laughs> oh, dearie me. I hate keyboard ribbons. Because the carbon tracks as well on the ribbons. Like, that's the annoying thing. So easy to damage. So, so easy to damage. Bye, bye, baby. There was a cap second up from the bottom. Yeah, no worries. Even if there was, it wasn't connected anyway and it wasn't preventing it from at least turning on. So, it's not going to be a major issue, I don't think. Uh, it could be. Um, I'm not saying it won't be, but I don't think it would be. Uh, well... I've just realised I've connected the battery up with a load of ribbons still not connected on this side of the board. Damn it, come on. Hate them stickers as well. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now I've got to try and get this fan ribbon out from underneath the board. Which is not going to be fun. Because I forgot to fucking do it. Well, I didn't forget to do it. It just ended up back under there. Somehow. Do I have to connect that with a fan? Ha! GTFO MacBook. MacBook. Too many frigging ribbons. Too many ribbons. Way too many. Think different. Let's connect the CPU with a ribbon. <laughs> Oh dear. Why too many ribbons? I hate them. Hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them. Right, I believe I've got it all connected up. <laughs> You're a Dr. Phil. <laughs> yeah, I believe everything is connected. Might have to plug this back in to USB C. In order to get it to boot, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Getting 20 volts. Fan spin. Apple logo. No high fan spin. That's what I'm hoping to see. No high fan spin. Fans stop spinning. Booting and how quick is it going to boot? Flexing muscles, not your bulb, is quite nice. Cheers, mate. 
So the sensor issue has been fixed. Does this still seem a bit slow? Should have booted quicker than that. Battery's holding a charge. But it still seems a little bit slow. So I'm wondering if that... Oh, we're getting a, getting a few graphical glitches here. Yeah, I think that's kernel panicking there without that cap. I think. Let me see what that cap value is. Because I can solder that without it being... Uh... Or is it because it's in recovery mode? Why is it in recovery mode still? Hey, focus, you bastard. Stop it. Right. Your computer restarted because of a problem. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, while that's doing that, I'm going to figure out this. So it's U7237. Uh, so it's... Sorry, not not you. It's C seventy two thirty seven. C seventy two thirty seven. Find that. That's a two point two microfarad. Twenty five volt O four O two. Keyboard is still not working. Ah, you son of a bitch. I think that diode pack is going to need replacing, which means I'm going to need to source one. Yeah, caps lock button doesn't... Uh... Caps lock button, button doesn't even light up, so the keyboard is not working at all. Hmm. Lecho, how's it going, mate? Yeah, so the keyboard's still not working at all. I'm wondering if it's a bad keyboard. Or if that dial pack is bad. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Is that still going to... Okay, we get the dong now. <clears throat> yeah. Keyboard's not working. Keyboard member may have liquid damage too. Yep. Could do, mate. Could do. That's the problem. Uh, problem is I don't have a keyboard. I do not have a keyboard for this. So I'd have to buy one. I was going to have to buy a top base. Well, no, the keyboard is... The keyboard membrane is working because... Um, if it wasn't, then... Like if the keyboard membrane wasn't working, then when I press Command and R, it wouldn't 
boot into recovery mode and it does I think is that trying to boot or has it just suddenly decided it don't want to I think it's just suddenly decided it don't want to. Is this an expensive laptop? Fairly expensive, yeah. Press a key or wait. Well, I can't press a key, can I? Dumbass. Hey, how's it going, Rob? Yeah, so either that dial pack isn't working or we could have a keyboard issue. But I think that is going to be a job for another day because it is 4.15am. I haven't even eaten yet and I am starving. So, good thing is we fixed one MacBook tonight. And we've partially fixed another. So that's a win. In my eyes. Oh dear. Was sick but getting better. Oh, that's good to hear, mate. Right. Is he going to attempt to boot? Or is he going to be a dick? I'm not seeing any keyboard light on. Go to U6701. Right, I'll look into it another time. Try put something in your mouth. Yeah. For some reason, it's not booting. Uh, I'm not sure why. What? What? Is that in DFU mode or something? What's that icon? I don't know what that icon is. Command and R is an SMC key. Handled different than other keys. Right. Helps you if you have a second MacBook. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll fix the sensor issue on it anyway. Um, but I think the keyboard is probably going to need replacing on this. That should be booting up in a second. Fan's just spinning. Even the NBA game ended. <laughs> yeah, so our keyboard's not working at all. Um are you on Discord? Yes, mate, yeah. Exclamation point Discord. Or the code.live forward slash Discord. We'll take you straight to me. 
Uh, oh, they're expensive. I mean, you can buy one for 30... You can buy one for 30, 32.87. But that's just for the keyboard. And I'm assuming that this is going to be molded in. Are these molded in to the uh, laptop? Probably. Hey, Nick, thank you, dude. Nick, Nick Kennedy, Kennedy super chatted $20. $20. Thanks for the stream, Phil, and everything you do in and for the repair community. Thank you, mate. I really appreciate that. U6701. Uh, what's that, mate? Is that the keyboard driver, is it? Let me have a look on the uh, schematic. Uh, U6701. Uh, U sixty seven R one. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's the keyboard driver. Right. Uh. Right, so I'm assuming it's not telling the keyboard to turn on then. Uh, thanks for kissing my ass. <laughs> Can you repeat your Discord username? My my Discord username is the colder. The keyboards are riveted in thought there would be, yeah. Keyboard flex on both sides for liquid damage. Yes, I did, yeah. Uh, good morning, Lightrunner. Welcome. Right, okay. Um, that's something I'm going to need to look into another time because, uh, well, number one, I don't think I have a U6701 unless it's available on different MacBook boards. Um... Keyboard data line goes directly to U6701. Right, okay. I got ya. Um, no worries. I'll look at it on the next stream. Um, it's it's all, it's 4.20am, so I'm kind of going to bed. Um, I'm hungry and tired, so... Yeah. Um, thank you all for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. Need your four-digit tag number. Um, just join the Discord, mate, and then you can... You can you'll see me on there, um, but my four-digit tag number. Uh, I don't even know how to get it up. I can't remember. Four six four five. Four six four five. Right, anyway, I will uh, catch you all later. It's called the Coders World. But yeah, I will catch you all later. Thank you all for hanging out, I do appreciate it. That's just, that's Colonel panicking, I think. Well, not dealing with that tonight. So, yeah, thank you all for hanging out. It's been a win. We've sorted out a few things on this one. Still need some work though. Um, yeah. I'll catch you all later. Have a good night, everyone. Stop abducting people. No, it's fun. <laughs> night, everyone. Uh, let me see, actually, before I go, if I can... Does anyone know if Computer Boot is live? Uh, he's computer boot alive. See if I can forward you to him. No, of course he's not because he he never seems to go alive when I go alive now. Well, never mind. Thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate it. I will catch you all in the next one.